right. Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. Let's see if we got raided. We didn't. Or at least so it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem like we were. Amazing. Let's take a quick peek. Let's be super sure. Hey, nice. We didn't get raided. Amazing. Really? Oh. Oh, we're gonna have to relog. We're gonna have to relog. We gotta relog. I don't know. I think it's because we're close to these chests, and when we like log out, we're like next to them, and when we log back in, the game just has no idea what's going on. But we can't we can't jump. If I roll, it gets real crazy. Right, watch this. So right now we get rubber banded like crazy, but if we roll. We get stuck. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back to main menu and jump back in the game. Oh my goodness. I don't know exactly what causes that, but that's been going on for a while. Been going on for a while. We'll, just, we'll try this again. But how's it going, Delka? How's it going, Rafikon? How are you doing, Swift, uh, Swiftfoot? How's it going, Liam? How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, we're gonna have to wait until it actually identifies ping. Because right now it's like, it's, it's, it's over 9,000. All right, there we go. It just took a second. We're back in. Just like that. Bang. Back we go. Have you seen the Paizo replacement for the Mephits yet? No, I have not. I have not seen what the replacement is. Mephits were like the semi-planar being things, right? Like the, the little mischievous, like, uh, in the D&D chat? No, I've not seen that yet. Okay. We'll have to go and jump into Discord and take a look at that after the stream. I've not seen that. Um, it's going to take a minute for everything to load. <laughs> Got a lot of just garbage lying around. But the goal today is to finish the build. The goal today is to finish our build so we can actually move in and start organizing all of our stuff. Uh, I did jump on a little bit ahead of time to make sure that... Uh, our stuff was properly stashed, and when I did, I went and I dumped all the stuff that we had hiding in this box in here. I forgot to stash that. I thought I stashed... This is the second time I thought I stashed this box. I did not stash this box. <laughs> this is the second time I'm like, I've stashed everything. Well, are you sure? Are you really sure? Because that's... It's 100 and... I mean, we got plenty of stuff to make more star metal that's currently stashed. But the tier 4... That, this guy is important. This gal, rather. It's a, it's a lady. Uh, Erica, she's important. We need her. Super critical. If it's of the elemental M space. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, I know, I I know of what we speak. Uh, no, I've not seen what their plans for replacing are. I'll have to go read that. This was done with everything we had in here, so we'll have to get more for it. Um, all right, this one we did take everything out of. But yeah, so there's there's still some junk lying around all over the place here. We didn't hide everything, but. We hit enough stuff that, you know, all the important, all the important stuff. Except, I think, yeah, I forgot the explosive arrows. <laughs> a couple of goodies here and there that I totally forgot, because the organization of this base is abysmal. Truly abysmal. Alright, goals for today. We need to go and finish clearing out Slayers. We need to go and check out Ares' own and um, Johanna Fox. And maybe jump over here to I'm Dead. We haven't been over here in... Like a week or something. Uh, Fortnite only. I don't know why we have them marked. We should check that out. We should go do some searching and maybe some like light rating maybe? I, I, I don't know. If we're going to do that though, I do need to go and dig up all of our loot. Alternatively, we just go straight to building and just go build crazy. Go build crazy. How crazy is the server right now? It's pretty full with a... Wow! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people without a clan. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of clanless people on this server. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So out of the 27 people online, including myself, about 45, 46%? Maybe 43%? Somewhere in the 40s. Percent of us are not in a clan. That's actually a little surprising. It's actually a little surprising. I'm a little surprised. 
All right, let's first things first. Let's go and just grab an, an absolute ton of stone before we do anything else, because stone is still our main building constraint. So let's go and let's get some stone, a whole bunch of it, jam it all into our massive stone processing building, and get all that stone on its way. Let's have that be the first thing we do here. We have a whole bunch of stone in one of our furnaces in the main house going on to make sure we get a little bit of uh, that stone constantly is working in a safe spot because it's not a one one explosive raid, you know, like our sandstone structure is, which is a one explosive raid. It takes one explosive to take it down. Have you grabbed anything for us? 312. All right. Yeah, this guy just, it, I really, I really want to see golems do better. I really want to see golems do better. They came out with this cool mechanic. Golems can do harvesting, and then they, they just don't work. <laughs> they just don't work. Ugh, super disappointing. And we get, like, a small poultry amount. Maybe it's just they can't figure it out on this, like, sloped terrain or something. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we didn't see uh, Vimis in here, did we? We've got no name. That's... Mm. I don't like that. No name of clan, no name. That is a... Shady. Very shady. Very shady. We also want to go do some more thralling, but I don't really want to focus too hard on thralling until we have our base set up. Not only because we have the crafter thralls that we need, but we're going to need more combat thralls... We're going to want to get the, like a handful of archers going. I don't really want to focus on that until we actually have a full, fully fledged base for us to go and house them in, you know? Until we get that, I think we're just going to, we're going to wait on it. For now, let's just go and nab every single rock we could find. Break up. Eat a nice little meal with some salted pork. Would be interesting if salted pork actually knocked down your thirst. If they had some foods, like spicy foods and salted foods, actually make you thirstier. That'd be really interesting as a mechanic to add in. Right? Because uh, spicy foods makes you warm. Drinking water makes you cold. So if you're in like a, an area where you need to stay warm but you get too dehydrated because you keep having spicy food and you keep sweating out all the all the liquids you've got. You have to keep drinking water that'll cool you down. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that would be an interesting mechanic to add, but I think that would be an interesting mechanic to add. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. We've got eight... We've got eight individual furnaces, which means we just need to div uh, divide this by eight. So we already have 16 divided by two. So we can have two per, but if we get to thirty, uh, if we get to twenty-four thousand stone, then we can go ahead and get three thousand per box, set per per furnace, three thousand per furnace. We'll do that. How's it going, Robman? How are you doing today? You passed out last night, but did Silent Guy give you another problem? Oh, the guy who just flew off and disappeared. No, he didn't swing back around. He he disappeared and he was gone, but. I was just really suspicious, because I, I have the game audio up on this game higher than I do on most games when I'm streaming. Just so I can hear footsteps, right? Just so I can hear when there are other individuals running around, because we are playing on a PvP server. So I do want to be more aware. So I, I play this with a higher volume, so I can hear what's going on. So I don't know. Tomorrow, new series? No, Bradley will be next week as new series. Next week is new series. Uh, I was a day late on setting up the boat. <laughs> the boat goes all the way through tomorrow as well. I like having it be a whole week. So that everyone gets the opportunity to jump in and do it. So we'll be doing Conan Excess today and tomorrow. And then Cult of the Lamb and Cult of the Lamb. Nothing on Friday. Saturday, Sunday will be Conan Exiles. And then Monday, Tuesday, next week will be the new game. Whatever that game may be. Oh, Conan Exiles take over again? No, no, no. Just today and tomorrow. Just today and tomorrow. And then we'll have it be on weekends. But, but weekdays will go back to normal. We're I've got a little more self-control this time. A little. Not a lot. Just a little more. A little more self-control. <laughs> but I, I, I do want to get the vote going. I didn't get the vote up and running in time before, so I want to make sure to do that. New stream schedule? At least for a bit. At least at least for now. We'll play Weekend Conan Exiles, yeah. 
At least for now. I mean, they're not guaranteed, is a thing. Weekend streams are always uh, up in the air. It might not always happen. How's it going, Pat Adams? How are you doing today? Whoa! Uh... All right then. <laughs> that deer is like, nope. I bit off more than I can chew. I'm out of here. But Pat Adams, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. Are you, oh, there he is. Mario. Bonk. Him with a big sword. He's got no chance. Okay, right, we need to get these hides going so we can get even more par. Because we need even more explosives. It's important. We need that. But Pat, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Sorry, I keep getting distracted when I'm trying to say hello and thank you. But this this deer over here, this elk, is being a little shady. With his superpowers. Also pick up a little bit of ironstone while we're here. We already have a ridiculous amount currently being smelted, but it doesn't hurt to just grab more. You can always use more iron. It's going to turn into steel at some point. Although I think we're getting pretty large on our steel reinforcements. I don't think we really need any more. I think we might have as many steel reinforcements as we could probably ever need. At least for this build. We'll need more down the line. We'll probably need them for building all of our crafting stations, though. Because I think some of the crafting stations take, like, 50 or 100 of those suckers. So we'll still need some, but... Alright, so 34... So, uh, 24, so 32. We need 32,000 stone... And then we can have four stone per furnace. Is there any more coal? Grab more coal if there's more coal. Oh, I need to go get some more of that going so we can keep that burning. Only five months? That's kind of a sad number. I don't know, Pat. I think I still think it's pretty good. I mean, you're not the... I've got a, a, a late stream time for you. <laughs> Got a late stream time for you. It's 11 o'clock your time. It's understandable. And we, I love just how much stone there is around here. The stone, like, it, it's the resources around here is really nice that so we can get it. It's not too tough to nab in this area. I'm still surprised we aren't being raided. I mean, I'm grateful that we're not being raided, but I am surprised. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, go. One, two, three, four, go. So each of these are going to make 400 bricks for us. One, two, three, four, go. So we'll get 3,200 and change hardened brick by the end of this whole ordeal, which should be maybe, hopefully, enough. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough. But, uh... Oh, there's no promises on that. I was a little short. A little short. But that's okay. Close enough. Close enough. We'll take it. We'll take it. Maybe a little extra coal. How long do these guys burn? I've got two hours of burn. That should be fine. You're a little... No, you're fine. I thought you were going to be a little low. That's what that noise was. Scribbling noises. I gotcha. I gotcha. Same not rated either? Amazing. Alright. Alright, Liam. Nice. Well, that's always nice. Alright, let's go and drop off everything we got here. Get this crafting as well. Get this while I'm just on my way. Might as well grab some more stone. Grab all the stone we can. And then we can start focusing on our other objectives today. But we just want to make sure we get the basics running. Get all the crafting stations up and going here. I really want to get out of this cramped building. Yeah, let's just, here, just take, take some extra iron, big guy. Use this iron. <laughs> totally full. This is making hardened brick. I really shouldn't be putting this stone in here. We should just be only using this for brick production right now. So we'll go and we'll grab that other brick and jam it in here as time goes by. Get some more coal for that too. Get more shaped wood. Let's see. So we have a horizontal one and a vertical one. So we just need iron and twine. Okay, simple. Not too hard to get. We have what we need for this. We still keep running out of bark on this thing. Dang. 
Huh. Surprised to keep running out, but that's okay. Keep that going. Uh, speaking of which, here's some more. Here's a lot more bark. Uh, here's some more hides. Here's some more furs. Uh, we just have so many insects. We have so many insects. We should probably just build a quick little fishing house, yeah? We can build a quick fishing house. Seems like a lot are getting raided, though. People were... Uh, we're uh, talking in chat about being raided earlier today. Interesting. Maybe just where you built is an area where people aren't checking. People aren't raiding the, the location you've decided to build in. I mean, we're in a slightly off the beaten path location. Wait, GG mesh base gone static? Static have a mesh base? Is that what I'm hearing? Sounds cheaty to me. I hope not. Crystal in here for now. Uh, all these bugs we'll go ahead and put in here. Actually, let's just grab all the bugs. Let's go ahead and let's 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 get this going. Let's get this going. Also, give me that resin. We're gonna need more stone consolidate at some point, so I'm gonna go pick up some more fiber. Uh, we need fish traps. Let's learn fishing. What do we need for this? Cooking? Fishing? Okay. Let's get some fish traps going, which I think is, what? Uh, fish traps require 5 or 20 instruments. Oh, cool. Like that. Farming. Yeah, 10 and 10. Okay, cool. So we'll just take a... Take a 100. She'll give us 10. Good enough. That'll give us 10. And then... Let's do a quick search through here. I'm sure we have bugs just lying around in all kinds of boxes here and there. I imagine, I imagine. I started trying to consolidate them into one recently. But I think they're still probably going to end up being all over the place. We're going to have insects in random locations. Let's take this hideout, by the way. Well, that can be put to put to work right now. Uh, we'll take the sickle, because I think I put the iron one, uh, the steel one away. Uh, give me the horns. There's another place with a bunch of horns. Yeah, ten horns. Give me those horns. I just saw something clipping through the floor here. I don't know what that was. Maybe that was like a drop of the water or something? I don't know. That was weird. Startling. Got this stone. What else in here wants? Fever, hatchet. Um, we're definitely going to break down stuff here soon. Really clean this thing up. We're going to be cleaning this base up. There we go. Maybe more horn. Nice. A bunch of horn lying around. Logged in and found a deer in your base? <laughs> Just a deer chilling in your base? Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> hey, you know you know rents do, right? It's like, what are you doing in my base? What are you doing in here? Yeah, I'll just, you know, just inspect him. Do, doing my due diligence. Diligence? Diligence? That was a bad joke. We're gonna let that one just kinda... Or ignore that. Ignore that! You heard nothing. Alright. That's... I think that's all of them. Go ahead and we'll dump off all the extra horn in here. It's a good amount of horn. Nice. Nice, nice. Drop these. Drop this. Uh, that's right, we actually have to tell you to do the work and tell you to... Oh, well, you don't have enough resin. Well, that's fine. It was a little surprising. Yeah, you see a fully-fledged deer roaming around inside your house. That would be a little startling, I'd imagine. Drop this off. Drop this off. And then this extra stone we'll go and drop off elsewhere. We'll at least take this out of here for now. Because the raid window is still active for another hour and 30 minutes. So I think we're going to continue to run around and kind of get some stuff done here for a hot second. And then in 30 minutes we'll go and we'll do some raiding. Uh, we're, we have some steel fire that's lying, like we have hidden away. I don't know how much... I don't know how much dragon powder we have prepped on hand right now. 
but I think we're just going to let everything kind of kind of be for the first 30 minutes here. Let's go do a little bit of building and prep. Leave our stuff hidden just in case we get hit here. And in the last hour of the stream window, uh, the steam, uh, steam stream raid of the raid window. What window are we talking about? A gorgeous glass window. Uh, <laughs> at the very end, last hour of the raid window. We'll go ahead, we'll grab everything, we'll dump it off, and we'll go do a raid over the last 30 minutes. Because I think we're just going to go and clear out Slayer and maybe poke our head down towards Ares, but I think we're just strictly going to go check out Slayer and clear out that last box. I think that's our objective for today. And then what we can do is we'll finish building at least the, at least the main walls, main structure of that base, and then we can start focusing on getting some big explosives on hand for a little bit more work when it comes to doing some raids. So we can do some... I don't know if we're ready for Tier 3 raiding, but we can at least do... We can comfortably start raiding Tier 2 bases. Instead of just scavenging Tier 1 and Tier 2 bases, I think we'll start actually actually raiding fully-fledged Tier 2 bases, not just abandoned Tier 2 bases. Let's take a look at that. We should have plenty of materials on hand. just kind of wanted to grab a hold, a good handhold here. Handful of it. I'm sure got plenty. All right, let's go and let's build a little a little uh, fishing shack, which won't be that little and will definitely bring attention to us, unfortunately. But uh, it is what it is. That's the way it's going to go. Uh, we need to get some fish. We've got a bunch of insects, so we need to start using them. We start using these insects. And the easiest way to do that is with a little fishing hut. Maybe we made this too wide, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, I need the twine. Did I grab twine? I didn't grab any twine. We have like a thousand and something. They got a couple of stacks of thousand twine in there, but that's fine. We'll just, we'll just make some more. <laughs> it's it's fine. We'll just make some more twine. No big deal. What's that guy trying to do over there? The deer must have, uh, or the elk must have flipped through the wall again, as it as it is wont to do from time to time. We're actually getting nearer the purge meter. Crafting stations, farming, fishing. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, I made this way too big. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Oh. Nope. Stop making a wrist. Alright, yeah. Well, I made it only a little too big. That's good. I didn't go too overboard on it. I didn't go too overboard here, so that's good. Now, can I walk in here, or is this going to be too, too tight of a... Yeah, too tight. I'll have to make this too high. I always prefer the buildings being too high, regardless. Uh, and then for here... Actually, what we can do is build this foundation here, build that foundation there, build the foundation here and here, so that way it's it's the uh, same height for this. And then we can go ahead and we can do this. Oh, <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. 
Uh, no. Here. There. Here. Here. Wow, why can't I build there? Huh, oh, wonky. Alright. Drop those. And work completes. There we go. That went the right direction. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some stairs down. We can walk in, get ourselves a door. We'll get a nice fancy schmancy door, because we can, with a fancy schmancy door. Uh, which way is the front? There we go. Fancy schmancy arcane sandstone door. Nice. And we'll go ahead and, oop, wrong button. Go ahead and get a nice little roof on here. Uh, not, not with stairs. I mean, we could make a roof out of stairs. No one says you can't make a roof out of stairs, but uh, let's not make a roof out of stairs. Let's make a little thatch roof, nothing special. And can we capstone this thing, or do we not have... we don't have that. Knowledge is building. Roofing. Learned. Alright, perfect. There we go. And now we can go get our capstones on here. direction. This one, and then end pieces. Nope. <laughs> That's the wrong way. There we go. Perfect. Our little hut is completed. It's nothing special. It's nothing too fancy. We're not putting any windows on it or anything, but we just want it to be where we can, uh, we can easily get over here and build these bad boys, or grab all of our fish. Ideally, we actually get a staircase down, too, huh? If I remove this, and I do this, I can actually get down, and then we can, we can grab everything from behind, or no? We can reallocate these fish traps going the other, dire uh, other direction here. Or we can put them in rows? I like the idea of being able to walk down here and I don't have to climb every time. Just so we don't make noise, or as much noise. We'll still make splashing noises. Yeah, I don't know about that. What if we did this? I want the first person mode here. One here, one here. Like one there and one there. Get you back a bit. I can just walk between the rows. Something like that. You're lurking right now? Alright, alright. Well, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. Good luck in your gaming adventures. Fish traps. We don't have to make this look pretty. I mean, this is... Okay, okay, this is very inefficient. The spacing is incredibly inefficient. Compared to what we were doing before. <laughs> Suddenly we're just straight out of space. Alright, fine. We'll just put it in the way we had before. That's fine. We'll just make them a little tighter and we'll put them closer to the back. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, like this. Nine and then ten. Can I get in ten the other way? That way I can walk in. You just put ten right here. There we go. Done. Alright. You can get one. Oh, come on, game. You get one. 
You get one. You get one. Time to get some fish. There we go. Anytime we get, uh, anytime we end up getting insects, we'll just jam in here. I'll be good to go. It's a, a cute little nothing special garbage looking shack that does its job. <laughs> gets, gets the job done, that's all that matters. Our golden just standing out in the middle. <laughs> nothing. Not even trying. That's our golem doing exactly as we don't want him to do. Ah, well. So it goes. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of spare wood that I picked up as well. It's a bunch of resin, too, which is good. And a good chunk of bark. Which is great. We were running a little low on bark. There. 13 hours of burn time to go through these branches. Good luck. There we go. Go ahead and drop this off, as well as some of the resin. Just make sure we... Or pulling all that. More resin in there. It's fine. We'll put... Uh, mm, nah, give me some of that resin back. <laughs> give me some of that resin back. Go ahead and drop off all this wood at least. Go. Keep the production going. And then over here we'll actually drop off the plant fiber and this extra resin. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get some stuff and solid going. I think we always use a little more stone consolidate, especially with the way that it's going with the the need that we have for more bricks. I think we're just gonna start throwing away leather. Honestly, we have so much leather at this point. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. We have so much leather. I, I literally have no clue what we're supposed to do with all this leather now. I think we're just gonna start throwing it away. Ah, it's dark. I was gonna go and do a quick fiber run. Get a whole bunch of fiber going. That's alright. We'll hang inside our barely lit room. We've got all of our lights in the center here. Barely lit house. We can do that. Alright. Make a lot of rugs? I mean, it's not just a lot of rugs. We, we could be the rug emperor. We could make so many rugs. We could, we could literally suffocate the world with the amount of rugs we can end up making. <laughs> That's good, Monkey Smash. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Okay, yeah, so we can get some more oil out of this. We are going to need more oil. More oil is important. Uh, we're going to need it so that we can build ourselves some top tier gear. It's not like the toppest tier gear, but it is still top tier gear. I'm so tempted to just, I'm always tempted to go and throw the stone in here. But we really shouldn't. Really shouldn't. We keep getting this going for all of our stone consolidated turned into hardened brick. Good taking a break from the grind. Nice, nice. Leave the stone in here for now, at least. We'll put the twine in here with the rest of the twine. The rest of the thousands of twine that we have. Okay. So that is done. We have all the basic things currently working on stuff, except for steel fire for explosives. We don't have that currently in the works, but everything else that we need to have running is currently running. So that's good. We need a bunch of fiber. So let's go grab some fiber so we can get more stone consolidated going and we can keep our compost rolling so we can go deal with all the ex extra garbage meat we have lying around in our pockets. Let's go grab that. And then I... I think we're okay. going to move our timetables up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and move our timetables up here. Go do, do a little bit of raiding. Maybe we should do a little bit of last minute scouting here. We got 20 minutes before I said we were going to go swap over to doing raiding. Or work towards raiding. We still got 20 minutes before the last hour of the raid window. We could go, could go do a little more scouting. Let's see what else he finds. There are a couple of small bases around the new Asgarth territories that we can take a look at. 
I don't think all of them have been opened, but then again, most of those are just going to be thralling spots. I don't really see much of a reason for us to go and check them out. Because we the likelihood of there actually being thralls in there for us to grab is incredibly low due to how fast you can train thralls now. Just I just don't see that being valuable. Looks like that's going to be a waste. Um... Now, going over to Dead Mountains, there's some areas over there we can take a look. I'm sure we could go and grab stuff. Or we can go back to the desert region and, and take a look down there. So I'm sure there's going to be a good couple of spots we could go and raid down there, too. Um... Hmm... So we haven't really scouted this zone, right? We haven't really scouted over here. Nor have we actually scouted around the summoning place. We just ran to the summoning place and out. And there's all these big question mark bases that we need to inspect and identify just to give ourselves the leg up if we end up getting raided by a big clan of knowing where their base is so we can immediately pivot to just being an absolute nuisance. <laughs> We can, we can go ahead and salvage a little bit of what we got and then become a true nuisance. The likes of the, which they have never seen before. Very cute little house there. Yeah, so oil is now being produced. We have all of our shaped wood and insulated wood being produced. We've got hardened brick being worked on with a whole bunch of standard brick being made first. We'll go ahead and we'll convert that over after. Uh, we've got... Iron being made. Iron reinforcements, I don't think are being made right now. I think we stopped making those because it just seemed a little like we were making too many. But, I mean, we can always convert iron reinforcements back into iron. We can we can always convert them back. So there's not much of a reason to stop making it. Let's get another 2,000 of these bad boys rolling. Let's turn them on and let them run forever. Do that. Oh my, Hello! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Get him! Get him! Oh my goodness, get him. I don't know how he got in here. Take him down. Nice to done. Good job. What? <laughs> I'm gonna grab the door for her. Okay. I'm gonna grab the door for her, but uh, she just decided to go straight through it. Now, if I remember correctly, this actually damages our stuff. It does. So this will be a good test. I think that's, a, I think that's the hunter out there. So this will be a good test. When we come back tomorrow, let's see if there actually is this damage to these foundations. I'm surprised it did four damage. During your base, too? Yes. This one's cheating the server? Maybe. What's going on out there? No, you don't. You stay in there. What's going on out here? What the? <laughs> okay. So, somehow... Somehow, the archer over here... The archer that spawns here, that fights that elk, scared the elk into our base, and now he's hanging out on top of our base. So, somehow he's glitched himself on top of our base. What? Oh my goodness, we got like gold. Nice, I'll take that. This man. This time we did, yeah, and we did damage here too. So let's come back later. We're gonna leave this damage on here from when we were skin knifing, uh, skin knifing, <laughs> skinning knifing, skinning this guy. We'll take a look and see tomorrow if this has been auto repaired or not. Because I still have that suspicion that when the server resets, because the server resets every single day, it doesn't restart every day at like three or four a.m. server time or something like that. I have a feeling. 
that it's repairing everything. I feel like it's repairing everything. And besides, I mean, I don't really want to use one one brick, one uh, shaped wood, and one iron reinforcement just to repair four damage on the foundation. But I have a I have a suspicion that's what's going on. So we'll find out. We actually have our test now. I was thinking about doing a test, but now we actually have a test going because of random nonsense. You two like to randomly scream for no reason. Ah, good, good. You you like to tap into your your, your truly barbaric side from time to time to let loose the the howls of our forefathers. Yes. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and just get that going. Solid going. What does I need this for? Oh, I need this for the compost. Because I've got a lot of garbage in my pockets here. I've got a lot of putrid meat in here that needs to get cleared out. A lot of meat that's just going bad. Meat going bad. You maybe especially don't like you at 3 a.m. because of that? Well, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta let out that primordial yell. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. We got a whole bunch of berries in here too. We can make a bunch of juice. We can dry them all as well, like we did before. Got them all in here for now. We can turn them on later if we want to. Uh, we'll go ahead and press this and press those. Give me more oil. Uh, let's go ahead and press those and press these. I don't need those. Bunch of bone in here too, it's nice. Hmm. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? A captain's log? We can do a captain's log. Give me but a moment here. Let's go and finish emptying out our inventory here first. Of stuff we do not need. Drop that off in here to get that ground up into spices, because we might as well. Let's go ahead and drop off the twine in here, because we do need a little twine. Last thing like we're not gonna use, we can go ahead and get this going from our far. Please make me more tar. I need it. We got even more putrid meat. We got some gold. Some putrid meat. Irregular meat. Some fibers. Like that. And some seeds. Drop off the extra seeds. Drop off the gold. I don't know if that's the right place for the gold, but we're just going to dump it there for now. Put the glass in it's here. That going. I mean, bone meal. We should have a bunch of bone meal lying around somewhere. And if we don't, we can just take, you know, 200 bone. That's 20 bones. We can make 180 extra bones. And just dump these bones in here. A bunch of bone meal. Get that going. You also want to see raid? Yes, we're going to do raiding. We're going to do some raiding. Hopefully, you raided someone today. You want to see Zelda rug them to death? <laughs> Quickly, we need to make more rugs. Quickly. <laughs> where, where is my needle of doom? The rugs won't make themselves. We'll put the insects in the building chest for now. That's fine. All right. Is it time for us to go on an adventure to go see who we're going to go and raid? Probably. It's probably time for that. Let's go ahead and let's get some more salted pork on the way. Our inventory is getting a little light on salted pork. Put that off in the toolbox. Should do some scouting. Alright, so we can, we're definitely going to go clear up Slayers, and then we can take them off of our list. But we should go ahead and investigate Fortnite. How much time is left in the raid window? We've got an hour and ten minutes left in the raid window. We have a little bit of time. All right, what we're gonna do? Take everything in here. Let's put these explosive arrows in here. We'll get those mixed up with the rest. We're gonna take everything out of here. We're gonna take everything out of here. We're gonna take everything out of here. Take everything out of here. Take everything out of here. And now we have our dump chests. Get everything out of there. Alright, we've got a couple of dump chests now. What we're going to do is let's go and dismantle everything we do not need or want. Don't need this. Don't need this. 
don't need this. We can, we're going to just build these with a uh, with an armor thrall whenever we need to build armors. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and break these down and just get anything we can out of it that we want. Uh, this is a item I can't make. It's, a, it's an item someone else did with a DLC, so I'll keep that. It's a fully a full hardened spear. I'll hold on to that. Boots. Uh, treasure hunter pieces. These we'll hold on to. Rule gauntlets. I can't make them. These off. Uh, we have one iron sickle already that we put into storage, so that's fine. Uh, man, I really wish we could have a larger dismantle section, you know? Or if I could shift click them in there, but shift click and put them down here instead, which is a little annoying. The falchion in here, another falchion in there, the falchion in there. Drop you off. Actually, no, we keep the powerful bow, because that's the one I'm using. No, we got an ancient bow. What am I using a powerful bow for? I've got an ancient one. This is full. The steel cleaver, we can make a new one, but we also don't need to. Yeah, we can. We, we don't need it right now for anything. Same with the hatchet, we'll get rid of that. Black hand earrings, we'll hold on to the black hand earrings. I do like those. The Because we can't make them, we have to loot them. The, the jewelry we can let go, because again, we can make those. We've got what we need for that. Hunting bow can go. Pair hammer can go. We've got our own. We'll go ahead and drop off the pick. We'll drop off these guys. We're just going to try and dismantle as much as we... Oh, don't dismantle that. On yards, fiber bindings, urban. What else do we have in here that we don't want? Steel javelin. Oh, steel javelins can't be dismantled if memory serves. We'll leave that there, but I'm pretty sure all throwing weapons cannot be dismantled. Some construction hammers. So we'll go ahead and throw them in there. Uh, Defari skin wrappings. Another chest piece. And we can take these trophies and stash them elsewhere. Also, when we were raiding, we actually found a sm another smelted iron stage boulders. We're going to take that. Someone else lost that. We got it. That's good. Random thought popped into your head. Armor, food, or whatever that give you buff in concussion. Does that apply to purple lotus orbs? Does anyone know? No, I have no idea. I'm assuming it does not. My assumption is it does not actually help at all. I would be, I'd actually be a little surprised if it did help. Um, I would be surprised if it did help. Reason being is that since it's not attached to you, the player, I would be surprised if it actually did anything. If it got that bonus. I'll drop you off in here, drop you off in here, we're gonna drop off these extra tools in here. Armors. Steel and razor arrows. There. All right, we've gone and thoroughly thinned the amount of garbage that we are carrying, which is good. That's our goal. We need to thin out the, the amount of pure garbage that we're carrying around. Oh, we can actually take this stuff out too. It's more vanier armor. Yeah. Javelins can't be, uh, can't do it to javelins. Darn. All right, we'll leave all this stuff in here for now. So it's, it's a good haul of stuff that we've gotten from breaking down all that stuff. That's good. Not amazing. Not bad. Drop off everything we can in this box. Drop off everything we can in this box. The bottom box is like siege boulder box, so I'm not going to go and get that filled with all that nonsense. We can go ahead and drop the rest off in here. Perfect. So now one, two, three, four, five, six empty boxes. Nice. A little bit cleaner. Our base still has some nonsense in here that we just don't need to be carrying, like more vanier gear that we can go and get rid of. But it's at least better. Everything is a little bit better. I've also stacked things together. One of the things that it did is like every all of our razor arrows got stacked into one pile. All of our, you know, whatever got stacked into one thing. So that helped out a lot. So that's good. So we have a lot more space now. So that's good. Uh, let's go finish off the last bit here of organizing some of this. All those, take this. Nothing else has an obvious home right now. Drop off the oh no, drop off the hatchet. <laughs> By the way, do we know of do we know if the battle pass siege ammunition will be available for production in the future? I'm assuming it will be. I'm assuming it will be. But there is we haven't heard anything. There's there's no official confirmation or denial if it will or won't. But I would assume so. 
I would assume so. It doesn't make sense to me that they would put in something that you can only get during a battle pass, like a free release item, and then they are like, hey, all this time and effort we put into making a cool icon, creating the actual item, making it properly work with stuff, have a different damage multiplier and effect when it lands on a target as opposed to the standard boulder, and then we're going to remove it after three months and never use it ever again. I just don't see them doing that. It just doesn't it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I I imagine that they will have it that you can actually make it or you can find it or something. Like there, there's some other way to get it in the future. I just, I just don't see them just stripping that out afterwards. They did the magic stuff in the orb. In the orb? I'm not sure what you mean by the orb, but they're, yeah, they did all the, it's true, they did all the special event stuff and they removed the special event stuff. It's true. That is true. I think that might be some, like, randomly reoccurring stuff that they'll do from time to time, though. I imagine they will do that from time to time. We'll end up getting rid of these tasks and whatnot later, because, again, we can just make better ones. We can make them better. We can build them stronger. Same with, like, these cleavers. I guess we should have held on to the steel one and got rid of this iron one, but that's fine. No big deal. Okay, so I think we go and grab all of our loot. I think that's the next step here. We go grab all of our loot from the from our hidey hole, and then we get to work on explosives. So you guys know the drill. You know how this goes. We're going to go ahead and quickly silence the game and make it so you guys can't see anything. Just in case there's anyone who's watching the stream right now who is on the server and wants to know where I keep hiding all my goodies, I want to make sure they can't figure out where it is. So we'll go ahead and grab all of our goodies real quick here. And then we'll jump back in, dump them into those chests. We'll go from there. Seldo blinds us! We're blinded! Oh no! <laughs> quickly! Quickly! Uh, blink twice if you can't see. Oh no. I'm on the other side of a computer screen. I can't see if you're blinking. It Does that mean I'm blind too? <laughs> Bad jokes. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll grab all of our loot here. And then we'll go ahead and get to work, yeah? Grab all of our loot. Like so. Now we're horribly encumbered. And then we go back to go back to the same spot so no one will be the wiser as to what nonsense I'm up to and where I'm hiding my stuff. Right? No one, no one will know. It's a secret. <laughs> Alright, we'll be visible in 15 seconds. 15. Actually, less than. Probably 10. I guess that technically is a countdown, isn't it? <laughs> technically, starting at 15 seconds means that there's a countdown, right? Audio's returned. Game is returned. Our inventory's chock full of garbage. Actually, it's all of our good stuff. It's all of our goodies. There you go. Vault 76 is the stash spot, you say? Oh, shh, don't let them know. You can't tell them. It's supposed to be a secret. Um, I missed one. Dumped. Unfortunately, all this stuff's clumped together. Oh, I missed this one. So it's not really a good way to have this all stored, but the raid window is open for only one more hour. Uh, let's go ahead and at least split up where some of the important things are. Actually, you know, let's just uh, let's try this again. <laughs> Hold on a second. Take everything back. Let's let's just actually put this stuff away in a more reasonable order. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of organizing here. We put stuff back. All right, building materials, so we can go ahead and build our big cool base. So we need all of our building materials here. Yeah, you can really just see that we just do not have the brick that we need. Compared to all of the other building materials that we have, we just do not have the brick that we need. <laughs> we need so much more brick. It's ridiculous. That is all. So some insects in here, but you can see we have two and a half thousand. But we have so much of everything else. Wait, you didn't see the secret stash? <gasps> you weren't paying attention? I just showed everyone. You missed it? Ah, you're gonna have to try again next stream. You're gonna have to try again next stream. Sorry. You snooze, you lose. Dump these in here. Uh, no one else. Look over here. Give me the bugs. Drop the bears. 
and the tigers. We'll get the bears and the tigers going soon. Get the bears and the tigers and uh, place them soon. Uh, let's go ahead and get you, which you're still working on stone consultant, which is admirable, and I appreciate that. But yeah, here's all of our steel fire. So we got a full line of steel fire here. I'm about to loot, loot all of our stuff and run. I'm about to loot all of our stuff and run. I'm listening. There's a guy here. I don't know if he's going to raid us. I'm like barely breathing. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going to have to get that captain's log in here in a minute. You know what we're gonna do? We are. I'm gonna loot everything. We're gonna loot everything. I'm looting everything. Well, here's the plan. We're gonna put some demon fire in here. We're gonna put some brimstone in here. We're gonna put some steel fire in here. We're gonna put some crystal in here. We're gonna say, hey, start on this. What are we out of the steel fire? Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Our thralls are, they're detecting someone. I'm going to keep everything on me. We can outrun them. We can outrun them and survive. I know we can. And what we're going to do... Is we're going to build some vaults. I'm going to pick up everything we have. We're going to build vaults. And what will end up happening is if we end up getting attacked... I'm going to pull everything, we're going to throw vaults as we run, and we're going to dump all of our stuff in vaults. We're going to panic vault all of our stuff if needed. I am not ashamed. I will do it. I will do it. We actually need a couple of vaults anyway. I've, I've been procrastinating on vaults. We have really needed some vaults. The steel? We need more steel. I have no shame, because we've needed vaults anyway, so I want to build two or three vaults regardless, just so we have a place to deal with when we're unloading all this stuff. It's a real nightmare to try and unload all this. So I will happily do that. Let's build two vaults real quick. Maybe it's a deer or archer? No, no, no. I heard a, uh, a, a grunt and a running around. I don't think it's the deer. It could be the person respawning on a roof, but I don't think so. Regardless, I still do want these two vaults. Like, regardless, I still want them. I still would like these vaults. And what we're going to do is we're going to dump all of our stuff back in here again. This will give us a, a quick moment of, of reprieve. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to check outside, because we're not carrying anything now, but we have our vaults prepped and ready. All I have to do is run in the house, <gasps> nab my stuff. Yeah, the guy's down there. Maybe it was a false alarm. Maybe this guy is just causing me like more paranoia than I ever need. But we still need these vaults. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I want to stick them, though. Real question. So where do I want the vaults to be placed? Yeah, if we end up getting raided right now, it's fine. Because I'll be able to grab all of our stuff real quick here. I can't remember. Can we return? No, we can actually pick up vaults. Nice. What's the decay timer on yet? Oh, I, I put my, I put that away. I have no idea what the decay timer on a vault is on the ground. And this game is not healthy for you. You're paranoid. You, you're getting paranoid. Of everything. Oh yeah. I, again, I heard a grunt noise and immediately was like, oh. I hear grunting. I hear footsteps. But the thing is that the dead body of the, so the thing is she freaked out and then she freaked out. 
This is why we have them on two different sides of the room. I didn't really explain that as to why I stuck them on other sides. It's so that this one will activate if anyone's climbing up on this side of the house. And this one will activate if they're running down the cliff on that side of the house. Just to, you know, little little early warning systems. They're like having a dog at a house, right? Where they, they hear a small noise and they freak out, yeah? Where did I put my hammer? It's dumped in a chest somewhere. It's... There it is. Go check this. Um, but the thing is, where the elk is sitting, right? If you look at where the elk is, you see where the elk is, which is right down here. The elk's body is over there, and he's roaming here. I mean, he sees us now. That's that's one thing. But that wouldn't give a reason as to why she went off. There's no reason why her entertainer should have gone crazy about it. You know. You're the same, you're always looking over your shoulder in this game. This is why I like playing on PvP. I, I like the stress of like, oh, is this going to be a really intense fight for all of our loot? Alright, what's the decay time on this? Oh, nice. It's close enough to everything else. It's got a, a full timer. Excellent. We like that. Alright. Um, open inventory. Vault. Chest. Perfect. It is now named properly. It is the dump chest. Uh, we have a second vault, which... I think what I'm going to actually do is we're just going to leave this vault in that vault. We're going to vault the vault. There we go. So, when we need our other vault, we can just grab that. So if things get real bad, we just nab everything. We run quickly over there to that vault. We pull the one vault out to our inventory slot. We then empty as much of our inventory into one vault that we can, chuck second vault down, and get into that vault. Uh, get everything in that vault that we can. Kill this guy real quick, just to calm my nerves. Woo, he's got some goodies. Nice. Take notes. Yeah, while we're here, we might as well, yeah? Where's the other one? There you are. Oh! Oh! Oh, actually, hold on a second. He's a tier 4 carpenter. He's actually... Hey, hold, hold the boat. Everyone hold the boat. Way anchor. <laughs> or, uh, not raise anchor, way anchor. Way anchor? Is way anchor putting the boat... Putting the anchor in the water? We're pulling it. I think it's pulling it, right? Chuck the anchor down. Hold the boat. Uh, raise the sails. Wait, hold on a second. Pa pause everything. We need this boy. We need this guy. Uh, I, we don't have our... No, we do have our other one. Somewhere in here. It's in one of these boxes. It's in one of these boxes. Where are you? There we go. I need you. And I need... Where's my bindings? Bindings? Do I not have the bindings in here? Maybe I didn't keep the bindings. Didn't think it was something I needed to keep uh, a hold of. Uh, we've got our... Yeah, we can another seven. Keep that going. Perfect, perfect. There's quest... There's empty name. Empty name talking in chat right now. Hmm. You heard your job stuff? You heard things? Way anchor is the term? Way anchor is to put the anchor down or up? Because weigh anchor sounds like you're supposed to be weighing it. And to me, that means, like, pick things up, right? Am I wrong? It just, it just, I feel, oh. Oh, that's right, no, I put that back in here. It is up. Okay, cool. Cool, so I had it backwards. Um, Chuck the anchor. We gotta go grab this thing. Hold on. Hold your boat. We've gotta go. This, and I need this. All right, let's get this going. Yeah, drop anchor. There we go. Come here, mister. I need you. You're a tier four carpenter. <laughs> oh my. Oh, jeez, that hyper armor is brutal. My glutton for punishment heal me up here real quick. 
little glutton for punishment. Heals the last uh, damage he took over the course of 15 seconds. Don't you hit no, don't you do it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. A bonk, bonk. Oh, thank goodness he didn't go through the floor. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go. It's go time. We're gonna put him on our other. We're gonna put him on the other place. We're not gonna put him here, though. See, he's strong in the arm. Sturdy boy. He's a sturdy boy. This, uh, visibility over here is pretty brutal at night, but that's okay. We just need to scoot around this camp. Tier 1 fighter. Maybe it was tier 2. Yeah, tier 2. She was fine. She's fine. Not what we're looking for. But Noisy Pink Bubbles, how are you doing today? Welcome. Good to have you here. Alright, let's go get her in this one. Or get the guy in this one over here. It's important. Is it me? Just me, or does that moon look like it moves faster than normal? In you go. Get to work. Get to work, big man. Get to work. We've got enough rule and error and everything for him. We'll go ahead and get a Taskmaster on there later. Do not forget the Taskmaster trick. A Taskmaster does not need to be in the Thrall Wheel to make them move faster. The Taskmaster instead removes the percentage required to train them. Thus, you can naturally train your intern in the Wheel of Pain to 80% and then put your Taskmaster in, which then lowers the threshold requirement to 80%, which then instantly completes them. Thus, you can't. Uh, no one's going to be able to raid and take your your taskmaster while you're out and about doing stuff. It is a trick you learn uh, when. Uh, oh, nice! There's actually a potion they dropped. Nice. I'll take that happily. It's a it's a trick that I learned with. Uh, actually, we're going to pick that right now. Uh, I learned back in the day because you kind of kind of needed to. Kind of needed to. It doesn't matter too much in the age of war now that it only takes like an hour. To three hours to train someone but back in the day when it took 25 hours to train a tier four the one we just got would take 25 hours without a taskmaster people would usually wait until it finishes raid the building and take the completed uh the completed thrall out for themselves but so what i would do instead is i would leave them in there and then show up my tier four taskmaster when it's like 60 percent of the way completed and then instantly finish it and walk away with it you don't understand this point of spoiled gruel other than having it be in the way. Yeah, there's literally zero reason to have spoiled rule. I, I I don't know why they don't just have it disappear. I don't know why it doesn't just vanish when it's when its decay timer ends. Like much like honey. When honey decays, it disappears. When potions decay, they just disappear. Although having a spoiled potion would be kind of a cool mechanic. Imagine if you get a spoiled potion for those potions that decay. All potions have a decay timer, let's say. A really long decay timer. But still say a decay timer, right? And when a potion decays, you have a decayed potion or a spoiled potion. You can drink that potion. That potion gives you like a 25% chance of food poisoning, a 25% chance of actual poisoning, a 25% chance of a random poison, uh, potion effect, and a 25% chance of two random potion effects. I think, or, or some, you, you figure out your percentages. I think that'd be cool. I think it'd be a really cool mechanic to add in for potions. Right? So you, like, drink an aloe potion, and different potions have different things. So, like, aloe potions don't give you, like, strength or anything. But, like, you know, a, a super cool, uh, high-quality aloe potion might give you night vision. Or let you breathe underwater or something. I don't know. Might be kind of fun. Have a risk-reward for drinking spoiled stuff. Just, like, if you eat something spoiled. Potions. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else we need to go and grab here before we go and do a little bit of raiding? I think so. I think we're good to go. Uh, where's where's my stone? I don't think I have any spare stone lying around, do I? No. All right, let's go get some spare stone real quick. We need to go make some jugs, and then it's time to go. It's time to go. 
It says we have plus 60 health, but we don't actually have plus 60 health, do we? Because our... Our base health is 700. So... Uh, 60 plus 700 is not 38. I don't know how that math is done. That doesn't look right. Hey, he found the stone! You did it, buddy! <laughs> you found it! I have become one with stone, master. Good job, big guy. Good job. Let me get you out of there real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go pick up the jugs. We always need more jugs. We never have enough jugs. It's true. It's a chronic problem. You know? Just need more of them. Corruption? But that would be cool. Uh, spoiled potions have a chance to give corruption, maybe? That'd be another one to put on there. And I'm sorry, we haven't done the captain's log. I got really distracted with the... Maybe hearing a player. Maybe just hearing the voices in my head. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so we'll get inside, we'll get the jug started, and we'll do a quick captain's lock. Get on it. Sorry for the delayed log, but uh, duty calls. Stone here. Oh no, we're encumbered! Oh, I love encumbered builds so much. I love being able to run around with everything in our pocket and never having to worry about uh, walking slowly. I don't know what the real... I think the I think there's a rolling difference, actually, with encumbrance. I think that might have been what the, what the change is. That encumbrance changes your roll speed or something like that? Maybe? Jug. We need... So I don't have earthen road jugs unlocked. Jugs. Jug. Earthenware jug. Potter. Requires furniture. Yep. There we go. Okay. Jug. Earthenware jug. We need ten. Okay. Now if I roll... Oh, yeah. So it's, it's Dark Souls style. I don't know if it was like that before. But it, our roll is significantly slower when we're over-encumbered. But I think our stamina regen is the same. I don't know if that's changed. Oh, you meant maybe you got corruption, uh, but your stamina looks okay? Yeah, no, we don't have any corruption on us. We're still at 150 stamina. There's no corruption on us, I don't know. Anyway, Captain's Log, starting unknown. We began our day, as we often do, gathering basic materials to get our basic construction working on all of our different stations. That being the shaped wood, the iron, the stone bricks into hardened bricks, and more tar into steel fire. With this rolling, it comes down to the task of preparing ourselves for raiding. The build is strong, we're good to go, we have everything we need on hand, and it does seem like it is slowed down a little bit with the noise outside. So it is time for us to go and prepare. Oh, we shall prepare. And with the explosive, with the dragon fire powder in hand, with the explosive jars in hand, and the tar in hand, it is time for us to head off on an adventure to grab anything and everything we can from any bases we see on our way that are slowly decaying and falling apart. We'll also take a quick search to see if there's any other locations within this land that might also yield some good loot. We've found many plentiful things, much bounty, one would say, by going and investigating. There must be more. There has to be more. And log. We're gonna go and check a couple of spots. I'm gonna check a couple spots. We need. Where's my? Where's my? Where's my hammer? Am I crazy? Where'd I put my hammer at? I have no idea where I put my repair hammer. I need that thing. I don't know where I put it. I am gonna need this. Stack that up for fifty. Does everyone know? Has anyone seen my hammer? Please. We have the power of Thor and just call our hammer to us. Yeah. Uh, you sure you won't need more boom booms in there? I think the ten should be enough. I think it be, should be enough of where we're going at least. Yeah, I have no idea where we put our hammer. No clue. Get more steel fire going while we're out. Oh, where's my brimstone? There it is. Brimstone. No spare tar? That's all the tar we got? Okay. 
Let's do a truck this brimstone. Let's be sure to all the... Yeah, we go. I was going to say, that number looked a little low to me. I remember there being three you wanted to go to. Yeah, there, there are a couple other locations we want to go to, but we want to hit this one up first. Fine, we'll just use the steel repair hammer that we picked up. This is location number one. We need to go to this place first. First and foremost. Top priority location. We're going to go finish this off, and then we can strike it from the map. We no longer have to worry about going there to go check on it. There's some, but they're a little bit further away. We're not going to be able to go and raid those that are further away today. The one that was uh, I'm Dead down on the island or Airy Zone over by Dead Mounds. We're not going to be able to go, go check those. We could, we might have enough time to go check out Fortnite. We might have time to go check out Fortnite space. See what's going on over there. I am still paranoid about our base being raided while we're out, though. So what I might do is I might take our valuable stuff and maybe just put it in the vault. I don't know. I don't know. Where are the PvP at? Sinkhole? We need to go and join Sinkhole. I think one... Maybe... maybe Should we do... I wanted to get the building done. We can do PvP practice tomorrow. I want to get this building done. Where's Forknight space? I don't know that at all. They've got all the honey and whatnot. Um, the decay timer on here should be pretty new, because we were blowing stuff up yesterday in here. Yep, she's still active up there. Again, we, we're going to be using this once we get this at religion. We don't have to build it. It'll save us some material. And location and whatnot. It's only stone and, and wood, I think. Maybe some twine, I don't know. Just check to make sure no one else is lurking about in here. Looks like we're clear. All right, door. Time to meet your maker. I'm gonna keep this on the hot bar, though. All right. No. Oh. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> Let me guess. You have to relearn this, yeah. Here we go. Breaching. Let's do this thing. Enemies approaching. Okay. We're getting there, but it's gonna be a bit. I'm hoping we can get this down with like five or less. I'm hoping we can get this done with five or less here. Boom. There we go. One now. Ah, so good. We'll fight tomorrow. We got some new members. Perfect. Okay, so some more people will be fighting tomorrow too. Good. All right. Next. I'm hoping that's all we need. Just those four. Oof, no, we're still gonna need another like two to get through this thing. Holy. Explosives are not as strong as I remember them being. We're going to have to get through with these remaining two here. So we're going to have to fire burn all the way. We're not going to skip any any burn time. We're going to go nice and slow here for, uh, going forward from here. Get started. Here we go. Blowing up things. What a surprising... Oh, Zelda. Blowing up things again. This guy over here. Hey, man. It's an abandoned base. I gotta go check this out. Gotta see what's in here. Was your base still intact? Yes. Surprisingly. I was really expecting it to be blown up, but it wasn't. So we had 11,000 change. I think this is 4,000 to 5,000 damage per bomb. I think. 
Yeah, it's about about four or five thousand with the the burn. You can see she's right there. She's ready to fight. We're gonna have to fight her as soon as we get this thing blown up here. Once this is blown through, she's gonna come on out. He's gonna come out like a banshee. Door open. I was actually expecting her to run out faster than that. They're coming. You coming out? Want to say hi? Ooh, careful now. Okay, so she actually has some health on her. We'll go with the staggers from the mace. So this person is actually logged out in here. Alright, Dinah. There's another chest in here. Oh man, there's two chests. I was only preparing for one. Bonk. Full heavy armor set. What's it called that? Completely unequipped. Locked. Locked. Ugh. Darn it. It's all locked up. You can only pick one box. You can only pick one box. Hmm. Let's go and take this box out. Alright, big explosions. Woof! That wall's gone. Nice. Oh, there's nothing in the chest. It was a dud. There was nothing in there. Oh, she died from the explosives. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's unfortunate. Big rips. Big rips. So we blew up four of them, which did enough to get through the 25,000. Interesting. Well, we'll at least take what we can. We'll take all this hide. Take what we can. Swig here before we go. Make sure we're getting topped off. Alright, we need another four explosives. We'll go from there. That'll be the last one we can go through on this base, and then we're done. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we could leave that person there. I mean, their spawn point... Well, no, their... Their bed's going to be blown up when we go blow up that last chest. Oh, it means they're going to have to run back up here if they want to build back up here. I feel bad about that. But hey, we got to go and finish clearing this base out. We got to see what's inside. You know, it's, it's, we, we, can't, we can't just leave it alone. Don't worry. He's giving us a hand. <laughs> Don't worry. He's, he's giving us a hand. Don't worry. It's, it's, everything's fine. Perfectly acceptable. We have a nice handshake about it. And everything's all right. Oh my goodness, you actually pocketed on your... Get, get that off Get that off my hip. Gross. That's disgusting. Right. Let's get up over here. It's Conan time indeed. We're doing a little bit of raiding. A little bit of light raiding. We're not doing any serious raiding right now. We're doing some light raiding. Should bring 40 explosives, enough for 10 chests. That's a lot of explosives to be walking around as a solo on a on a very popular PvP server map. Uh, solo, or sorry, PvP official server map. You know, like if we're playing on a on one, uh, maybe maybe elsewhere, maybe. But uh, that sounds quite dangerous. All right, we're gonna stop this. Ooh, we need more steel fire. Stop that. Steel fire. Stop it. 
One, two, three, four. Let's do five for just just to be safe. Yeah, let's just make five to be safe. Five to be safe. Let's drop all these off. Grind these bad boys up. Squeeze this bad boy out. Grind up this bad boy too. Like this. Bone meal in here. It's our meats. Okay. Go ahead and squish that as well. Uh, we're gonna put this full armor set and weapon here. Yeah. We can go ahead, we can put that on our on our thrall here. Get that going, keep that running. I mean that tar. We need to get more skinning going so we can keep the car production rolling. Alright. All the bad boys? Yeah, we're we gotta go we gotta put them in their place. Keeping an eye on our on our little uh watchdogs here. Jug. Five more jugs. Let's go ahead and if we're doing five, we need twenty-five, so we'll add that. But yeah, so it seems like that health, that vitality potion is not actually giving us anything. It doesn't look like it's properly stacking with the bonus that we got from our food. Hmm. Got those five. All right, we're just waiting on this here. We'll be good to go. Icker. I don't care about those weapons. Let's go ahead and we can swap her out of this old medium armor into some good, solid, heavy armor. Significantly more armor. This also gives her some stamina, but I don't think it actually helps thralls. Thralls don't really care about stamina. It's not something important to them. Okay, three... Four and five. Yeah, we definitely need to get more steel fire rolling. After this, just keep making steel fire. We don't have as much like this the steel fire we have enough for the small raids that we're doing, but not enough to like do any big raids right now. But then again, majority of our steel fire is being used to making steel reinforcements. We're predominantly using it to make building materials. Not explosive and destruction materials. But we're going to hopefully finish that today. Hopefully we'll finish our build today. Uh, while we're waiting for that to finish off, let's go ahead and add the last that we need of the bricks from our brick production. Dump that in here for our hardened bricks production to keep on going. At least see where we're at. These guys still burning? Now they're all done. Yeah. So we got 400 bricks in each. Ish. <laughs> so 400 by 8 is, what, 3,200, I think was the math we ended up doing, Briar? Yeah, 3,200. So we need 3,200 stone consolidate. We'll get that roll in there so we can get 3,200 hardened brick out of those. Get that going. The lower priority right now. We want to go and do the explosives right now because uh, we're on the clock. Take that. Yep, keep working on that. Good. Keep checking that corner. I'm relying on you. I'm relying on you. Let's head off. Ah. Alright, back to the base. So hopefully, we can get this done with just a few. It's the standard fighter 2. We're going to have to go and start leveling up fighters. We have uh, two Lians, I believe. So we'll start using them once we get the base set up. We'll get the bears and the tigers down once we have the base set up. We'll get the... Just everything currently is just on hold until we finalize the base structure. 
Once we get the shell built, we'll then start moving in. We're still going to leave the new base as a really, really easy raidable target. I'm not going to have it be a thing that they have to like blow through the entire wall on. It's just going to be like a one-door raid for now. Uh, until we get situated to where how we, how we have the palace set up in a way that we're happy with uh, then starting to fortify it properly. But we'll leave it as a, a easy-peasy raid for now. We'll just keep all of our goodies in our build, our build base, our building base. All right, let's go open up this last chest here. We can also blow up this. We can also blow these up and go take a look at the uh, dancer that's hidden in the other one if we want to. All right. Yeah. So if we were, yeah, if we we're gonna blow up this, it's gonna knock this thing down. It's not going to survive. All right. One, two, three. Let's see if we can do it with three. We knocked it out with four. I'm curious if we can knock it out with just three. We need to disappear here. Wish everyone a delightful uh, day and night. Yeah. Thanks for popping by and saying hi, Mitz and Throat. We'll see you around. Take care. Let's see if we can put if we put three of these directly on top. Is that enough to break them, or is it always four? Because now we know it's four for sure per chest. But can we do it with three? It doesn't instantly unlock it. What does it burn? No. So four does enough cascading damage, I think, to go and take it out. Unless it was damaged from something else. I don't know why it would be. I don't know why it would have been cast like extra damage would have done been done to it earlier. So we have to do two. So I guess if we do four, it blows it to smithereens immediately. But if we do three, it doesn't. A little disappointing. Right, let's finalize this. But bam. There's stuff. <gasps> what the? <laughs> ah, the floor I was on broke. <laughs> it broke, but it didn't shatter. Oh no. That's more explosives. I don't know if that was our base. We have to grab this and run. Any good? We got something. We gotta go home now. That was definitely some explosives. We gotta go now. We're gonna we're gonna assume the worst. We're gonna prepare for the, we're gonna prepare for the worst. I don't know what we got, but I absolutely heard an explosion. My heart's racing. Just listening right now. You didn't hear another explosion? I heard a loud, like, boom noise. Did you not hear that? I did. It was, like, distant. It was only one. It wasn't, it, it wasn't a cascade, so I don't think they're going... If they're raiding us, it'll be our sandstone building. If someone's raiding us, it'd be a sandstone building. So I'm just checking this real quick. Nope, okay, we're fine. Alright, we're fine. I could have sworn I heard a bomb. Again, I'm still super paranoid. Probably know it could have been a lightning strike. super paranoid. So we got a Hanuman's gift and a Yeti. Oh, we got it. Oh, nice. What's it lightning? It's probably lightning. I'm just super paranoid. <laughs> just super paranoid. We got a Yeti protector. Nice. We got a Hanuman's gift and a Yeti protector. That was actually this was pretty good. I don't know if it's exactly worth the cost, but yeah. I think you heard lightning or something. It might have been lightning, but I'm, I'm just super paranoid. Just super paranoid right now. 
We're away from the base. It's not as defensible as possible. It take it'll probably take seven. It takes ten, seven explosives to get through the building, and then another five explosives to probably blow up this cluster of these. Because someone would need twelve plus explosives on hand and know exactly where to go and chuck it. But the Yeti protector. <laughs> Anyone was curious why I'm I'm stoked we got a Yeti protector. Close that door, please. Is uh Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> We've got a Yeti thrall. Nice. I've never gone to go grab one myself, but um, we got one. Keep you warm in the snow? Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll leave him in here. He doesn't have a decay timer, which is great. This summons a protector of Hanuman to your side. This Oh yeah, that's right. Hanuman's gift is actually a variable potion. It gives you random effects. Okay, so we've got 18 minutes until the raid window ends, so that's kind of that. It's done. We can go ahead and change this to just a castle. That is done. We're not raiding that anymore. Uh, we'll have to go. Ch we need to check out Fortnite only and see what's going on with that base structure over there for tomorrow and see if maybe we raid them. I, I don't remember why we marked them. But we'll go take a look over there. I, I can't remember their base structure. Recent avatar attack! Hold on a second. There's an avatar attack here. Wasn't that big stick for cult of whatchamacallit? Actually, we can probably get rid of Iris's mark on the map here if we want to. Is someone missing a tier 3 altar somewhere? All the tier 3 altars I remember are here. Including that one. Someone must have built an altar, leveled it up, and went from there. Oh, someone did an avatar attack. That's why you do need to pay close attention to the map. Because you'll see these tokens moving if they're bringing it from one place to another to attack. Someone named uh, Syntax did? Let's take a look. Event log. Who did it? Who did the thing? Our explosive jar lost stability. Wait! Our golem was killed. I knew someone was running around here. When was that? 30, 20 minutes, not even 20 minutes, 18 minutes ago. While I was off blowing things up, there was someone that was running past our base and killed our golem. It's fine. The golem wasn't really doing anything for us. We had him just floating around. A little sad that we lost him, but still. Um, but yeah, so while we, so I wasn't, I wasn't too paranoid, you know, there was something's going on here. Someone has star metal tools? Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, so Hellscream is the one who did it. Hellscream, eh? That's syntax. Hellscream's not online. <laughs> he must have just like, killed our golem and then got offline. Awkward. Event log. Did it say the... Let's go and tick all of these off. Only religious warfare. Yeah, Syntax... Okay, that was an hour and 30 ago. Hour and 30 minutes ago. Syntax attacked. Okay. Okay. Hellscream has a base in 212, if you want to pay him back there. Nah, we don't need to pay him back. Um. Oh, he's up here? Well, explain so we haven't found his base yet. I've been skirting coming in. <laughs> I haven't actually walked through the main passage to get in here. I'll explain why. But I still need to do proper scouting all within this region here. Because we haven't checked this region at all. We need to go and check this zone here. Predominantly around here and along the border here. We still need to go and check down here, uh, and uh, over here. 
we still need to go and inspect down in this zone. Actually, really, just this whole space here. <laughs> this Actually, I take that back. Just the entire eastern side of the map. We can check the north. I'm not too worried. We already know Blood Ravens is here and here. But yeah, there's still some places we need to go check. Okay. So, Steel Fire is going. The big hip, um, inhibiting factor for us right now with that is... The par, so let's go and get some more time. Oh, no. The biggest problem we have is never mind, we've got plenty. And brimstone's the limiting factor, so grab the brimstone. That brimstone in here. So we're gonna try and start getting a whole stockpile of steel fire so we can get a huge stockpile of explosives for tomorrow's raiding time. We want to go and upgrade from the improved to the precision if we can. We're just going to kind of tootle around base here for a little bit longer, for another like 14 minutes, and then the raid window will close, and then I'll be happy to go and explore. We'll start building once the raid window ends. I still want to be in a defensive posture here. We did lose our golem, so we can go make a new one. Golem. Guardian. Iron and iron. One unlock those. Alright, so iron is just. Geez, it's actually quite expensive. These guys don't have that much health, especially when you use uh, star metal tools on them. But yeah. We can go ahead and we can play with the golems again soon. Go ahead and grab all this. All right. There's still some parts and pieces remaining, too. Lots of bases up there, actually. Yeah, no, the Dead Mounds has a lot of them, but a lot of them are for thralling and the like, not for anything else. All right, building materials goes in here. Everything else for now we're just going to dump in here. There we go. All right, perfect. And I'll be right back. Let me go grab some more water here real quick. I'll be right back, everyone. Give me like 20 seconds. All right, and just like that, we're back. And just like that, we're back. But yeah, so we're going to have to go check out more places, see what people are building. Because we we have no, not really done enough exploring. We haven't poked far enough around the map yet. So we're definitely going to have to go and do that. Um, so let's see here. We are still waiting around for another 10 minutes here. I do want to go really check this one out, but we need to get our sorcerer going. Actually, while we're here, let me get some sorcerer going. We can do sorcery in-house. I think we have what we need for it. Oh, we don't have the glowing goop. Gosh darn it. We don't have the glowing goop we need. Darn. Um. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to get glowing goop. I don't know where we're going to get glowing goop. I think there's some glowing goop over here in the water. If not, I think there's maybe some down here. I know for sure there's glowing goop here by this question mark. That's kind of like far. It's kind of like really far from us. I know there's some there. I know there's some of these in the river around here. But I don't know where actual we can go grab some glowing goop. There might be some down here. I didn't see any when we were running around over here, though. So, what about that? 
All right. So we're gonna go into building mode. Let's grab all of our building supplies and let's chuck them into this chest. We'll go from there. Actually, before we do, how much stone consolidate do we have? Got none in here, I pulled it all out. Let's find all of our stone consolidate and building materials. And then let's go get some stone consolidate rolling on those, uh, on the ones we have outside. We can grab all this. We can get some stone consolidate going here. Don't really need that coal. So once we're done with all that, go ahead and make more stone. Make me some more. We're gonna need more. Building materials. Bunch of building materials. Grab all these. Grab these building materials. Okay. Nothing in here, nothing in here. There. Okay. Go ahead and drop all this off. Give me that, and give me that. Oh, give me that. Drop this. Give me this. Furnace. Let's drop this off in here. We need to go and get our smelter. So this will go faster. Let's grab a smelter and smelter. And with these two smelters, this will go faster now. Should have done this earlier. Why do I have the reinforcements on me, but not the consolidated? I don't know what's going on with that. All right. Let's go get this in the other base. Okay. Definitely not enough. We should have should have grabbed more. We'll drop one in here and one in here. And uh, congratulations, this one in the back that doesn't have the full four hundred. You can. Wow, that's darn near perfect. <laughs> Only four over, or five over actually. Darn near perfect. We should have more stone consolidate in the one that I put the tier 4 smelter in. Go check that one. Grab some out there. Oh, coming through. Oh, actually, we do need more consolidate on hands. We don't have enough. We don't have enough at all. all right, stop making this. Make that after. Make, make more stone consolidate first, which we can also get our cook on. Cook on the job. Bam! Faster. We need stone. All of the stone. Oh. We can at least get three more going for now. She roll in. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. If we wanted to be exact, we could get another one going too, but that's enough for now. It's enough for now. We'll get more stone consultant and go from there. Let's go grab all of the bugs that we have, because we have another round of insects that we picked up. Let's go and get that in there. Let's grab all the fish. Let's get some oil pressed. With all this oil coming in, that should be enough for us to then... Uh, with all the oil coming in, that should be enough for us to then go ahead and start working on our better armor. It still wouldn't hurt for us to go and do a couple of dungeons to unlock new armor types. Uh, more armor types, armor sets. Blank. There's so many bees. We've got a lot of bees. We're going to hold on to the bees for now, at least. Don't want to use them yet. Switch these. Those insects. In here. More insects. There's our two glowing. Ah, there we go. So our two glowing goop was in there. Get some more steel fire in here. Okay, we don't need to pull it out. 
All right. We'll drop this off, then we'll go back to the press. The fact that I didn't... Wow, I don't know why these guys just don't land where they're supposed to be landing. Uh, are either of these worth picking up? I will rip you up Carpenter 2. And a Archer 2. Okay. They are not worth our time. Oh, hello. Just accidentally wail on her as she comes in from behind. Bonk. Oh, I'll take all that. That's nice. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I missed him. What? Oh, the crippling is pretty annoying. There we go. That took unnecessary amounts of time, but we got him in the end. Oh, she's she's moved a bit. I can still get her. There we go. Perfect. We need that hide. Uh, but yeah, if we keep cycling these two, I mean, they can't. There is the chance of a random tier four spawn off of this location. So if we just keep cycling them, eventually we'll end up getting another tier four. So it works for me. So not quite all the way through their insects yet. We'll go ahead and we'll take all of the fish that they have so far. And we'll chuck some more insects in here. Fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish, fish. And even more fish. It's already got a full stack on it. that. This. Let's go ahead and cut these in half, I guess. So we can get some more in each. Rubs. Alright, perfect. Fish on the way. Excellent. Yeah, you can see through here exactly what's going on. Actually, not really. Fish traps are submerged. <laughs> you can't really look through the, through the hole there. Yeah, so our buddy is gone. I'm gonna miss seeing, not seeing our buddy over here anymore. So rude of that guy killing him. So rude. I cannot believe it. Oh, I can believe it. He sees me. He's like, ah, oh, it's just a stone boy. I'm gonna just take that out real quick here. Would have made him a brimstone one. Would have made him more uh, threatening. Every time he gets hit, I think he... Oh my goodness, it's a lot of fish. Every time he gets hit, he ends up, like, emanating a cloud of poison. This is full. <laughs> Jeez. That's a, that's a chock-full press. Got fish in there. Uh, let's take the blood out. Put you in there. I'll take the mandrake seeds out. Let's go ahead and put this fish in here. The exotic fish. Uh, so what is that? One, two hundred, about two and a half. So we'll have that three hundred in here when we're done. Pretty good. And then grind that up. Just drop all this in here. We got some some people speaking French in chat. <laughs> French people here that have joined the server, it seems. Tar. Tar to the list. It's all perfect. Let's see, we've got glass, which we can just dump in here for now. We got stone, which honestly we can just dump in here. It's got plenty of stone. <laughs> We're gonna, gonna need this stone, so we can go and get that cooking elsewhere. And we can go ahead and break this down. So they're in poor condition. And we might as well get the fur and whatnot of it so we can tan it. Get more... Get more uh, tar out of that. Seems good. 
Let's definitely solve it. Perfect. All right, read window is closed. We can no longer be raided. We no longer have to be worried about our setup. It's time for us to start doing some serious building. Let's just go ahead and put 400 in here. Go. We're gonna look at you. I'm gonna pull everything out. Cancel this, pull that out. Brick in there. Put 374 in there. Have you go. Keep on rolling. All that. And have you just keep working on brick. There we go. Let's take what bricks we have here. And then it's time for us to get a little more work done on the base. And then once we catch up as much as we can, the work being done on the base, and i.e. once we run out of hardened brick again, which is going to happen, then we'll go on a scouting mission. We'll go on a scouting mission after. Okay. When we go on the scouting mission, we'll go grab the stuff we need for ourselves to get our sorcery leveled up. Okay, perfect. So let's do this thing. So, we'll drop this off in here. We take a stack. Take a stack. Wow, this is going to be really fast. <laughs> this is going to be a really fast uh, section of building. We're not going to get much done here. We still need so much hardened brick. It's nuts. It's crazy how much we need. It's absolutely crazy, but we'll keep building it. And I guess that's fine, because that means we'll do a little bit of this. We'll do this for like 20 minutes, and then we'll head off on an adventure. Yeah, having that vault there is not really a great signal <laughs> to send to everyone, but uh, I feel more comfortable having it there, honestly. All right. Where were we? Where were we with this build? Where were we with everything here? We can leave it open and start bringing some crafting stations in here if we wanted to as well. That's another option. We can start working on tier 3 crafting stations, starting to put them around. And we can close this place off as we go. Doesn't mean anyone could like come in here and grab stuff while it's been cooking in here, but I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about that. Reinforced. Oh, we got enough. We can build a good build a good amount here. People will have to fly to be able to get in once we close this off. So let's work on the elevator, I guess. Yeah? Means we're going to have to break open stuff that we have down below. We're going to have to reset everything downstairs. I think it's time we work on it, though. Oh, that was the wrong button. Let's get to work on this. So let's go ahead and let's get an elevator started. Let's get an elevator going, and let's go ahead and let's... We're going to be rebuilding this lower floor. We'll still make it out of, you know, bottom tier materials. We don't really need to do anything special. But we'll at least go ahead and get our elevator set up. Uh, let's see here. Elevator, elevator. Vertical elevator. We need twine and iron. The twine. I don't remember how much it was. It just take 25. And iron, I think it was like 22, was it? Iron and twine. Elevator. Seven. <laughs> Not even close to how much I thought it was. What did that? This. Move those. Perfect. We'll go ahead and we'll get this built. We'll go and install this. Uh, we'll have to go. We'll go and we'll set up an elevator trick uh, track as well. But for now, we don't need to. We can just box it off so that no one else can jump on it. That's fine. Just make it so no one else can climb on it for now. But we'll eventually just leave it open. I think with an elevator trap. Now nah, we should might as well just. Well, I don't know. I'm thinking. Maybe we leave it open for now. And we make an elevator trap later. 
Mm, maybe. Take a little bit of this wood out of here. And grab some stone as well. Unfortunately, with us breaking it down, all that stuff with the stone can solve it, like, it's going to be actually open and up for grabs. Anyone can just walk by and grab it when I do this. But that's... We can... I think on it. I think we're just going to grab everything in our pockets and we'll stuck, stuff it in the vault. That'll probably be what we do. We can do it that way. We can stuff everything in the vault. Nice and full. Out he goes. Oh, that... Interesting. That is so... That is... That... That is valuable information. That is valuable information. That's huge. Do you, guys, do you guys see why? Do you guys see why that's so important? Do you see why that's so important? That's huge. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely insane. All right, let me let me give you a rundown on this. Let me give you a rundown on this. So in the Age of War, there's all of this stuff for... Um, where is it? Decorations. No, I don't want this. Decoration. I'm, I'm like all over the place. Decoration. I don't have it learned. That's why I don't have it here. So if we go ahead, so the treasury is a huge aspect of the Age of War, right? Treasury is a big thing for the Age of War. And stealing each other, like gathering treasure and stealing treasure from other players. That's a big thing that the Age of War is going to be pushing for, right? Is this whole, like, stealing stuff. Oh, I guess we don't have the full... Well, we're going to need to get some iron reinforcements to prove this point, to show you what I mean. So th this is a big thing, is go raid a base... One of the big advantages, like, one of the big points of raiding a base is getting all this loot because there's going to be further stuff in additional chapters of the Age of War in which having this, uh, having this gold and beautiful objects and the like is going to come into play and it's going to have, like, it's going to have uh, effect on the gameplay itself. So something that we just learned right now with the way that, th that everything just happened, something we just learned right now is for the, for the low, low cost of a couple of, a couple of shaped wood and a little bit of reinforced iron we can make life so much easier now imagine i have this base and i've got a lot of good good loot in there and whatnot and i am going to go and steal it and i'm going to bring it to my base on the other side over there by all those uh, mountainous craggy pieces there right that's that's where we're going to go so we're going to go from where i am over there so to do that before we go and raid what i can do is I can actually build a treasury outside of the range of this base, right? Because if you want to, if you want to steal this stuff, if someone has it placed, oh. uh, it's ours. So now we can pick it up, right? We can now pick it up because it's ours. But when you steal it, you have to lift it up and you have to slow fat walk it around. But if you take it from there. You bring it to this teeny tiny treasury here, plop it down, pick it up. And now we can run at full speed. I thought that's actually even better than I thought. I thought we had to like break it, because when we broke it, it went straight into our inventory. So I thought that's what we had to do. It's even better than I thought it was. We just plop a treasury down, closest that we can to the enemy base. Then we only have to fat walk from there to here, put it down, pick it up, and we can run all the way over there with all of the loot. That's huge. That is that is a great discovery. That is probably not intended. That is it's likely not intended. But that's pretty cool. So that will stop us from because remember we got this over here initially because we went to the base that was over here, grabbed that gilded horn, and slow walked it all the way here. We could have instead slow walked it from here to here. Picked it up and then walked back normally. Only certain treasures can be picked up like that. They're uh, they're in chests and off dead NPCs. Yeah, yeah. For the small for the small loot, we can do that. But the small loot, like that's still you can, if you leave all the big loot, if you big leave like the big cat and whatnot statue things, we can still get all the small loot. We can loot and scoot like nothing else. You can just run in and raid out like a bandit. 
I think that's huge. That is a big find. We've discovered something amazing. I'm very happy. I'm happy with what we've learned. It'll make things easier. It's not going to, like, totally defeat the entire purpose of how everything works for pulling uh, big loot from big bases, but if we're raiding someone who's far away, we can just take their tiny loot and leave the big loot instead. So that's great. Right, we're going to take this, pick that up, put that back in our inventory. Alright, we've cleaned out the bottom. Let's go ahead and let's get this set up. Now, let's away. Give me the elevator. 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 I'm going to have to wait until it's daytime, unfortunately, for me to properly do this. We've got the elevator set up now. At least on the bottom. We'll go and we'll... we'll uh, box off the top here to make it nice and safe for us. We're definitely going to have to go and grab fragments of power to go and hopefully learn the fast elevator, because, good golly, the elevators are so slow. They're very slow. <laughs> We're only going a small distance, too. I would very much like a fast elevator. All right. Go ahead and we'll put this here for now. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we'll end up, we'll set this up with a uh, with a bomb proof build. We'll create a we'll create a bomb proof build for this, um, or a, a fail safe bomb, a bomb fail safe, like a it makes it so you can't raid using the elevator. We'll set we'll set this up later for that. For now, we'll just have it set up where you can just use it to get up. That's fine. That's all right with me. Let's go ahead and get this all connected here. Like so. There we go. And then we will... That in my pocket. Then get you the correct direction. Facing north as you should. And now we'll put you back up here. Now you stand on the foundation as intended. Actually, you're one foundation further back than I intended. <laughs> Whoopsies. There we go. Much better. Okay, so we have it set here. And now we'll go ahead and we'll get ourselves some stairs. Well, that's not right. There we go. And then some corner stairs. Here and here and here. Make sure we can run up here from any direction we want. Okay. Perfect. Leave that for now. It's kind of a waste of hardened materials and whatnot, but we're, we'll pull them from here and push them upstairs as, as we want. We're actually, let's just, we don't have to worry about it. Let's just have it be this one. <laughs> We can just do it with one. Anyway, this way we can now get up and down with a little more ease. We don't have to climb anymore. We can just use this elevator. Get up and down. Um, and so how this elevator works, you can see, is that the elevator is up here, but pushed out. Oh, jeez, we're going to have to fix that. <laughs> we're going to have to fix these two. Because they're not, uh, not lined up the same way. But you can see we can have the anti-climb right here, so you can't actually climb up. So the elevator isn't actually in the way and compromising our ability to get up and down. It was a failure in my build plan on our last uh, last playthrough. I definitely designed that improperly. 
last time. Let's go ahead and get this done right this time. Roof patch. Ceiling. I saw my shoulder pad and got nervous. <laughs> so paranoid, oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. That's much better. Pull this down. Go ahead and get... Uh, let's put some fences here to make it look cool for the moment. Go. Elevator up. We'll set up all the furnaces up here inside the house. Just so there's some little extra work to be able to... To steal our stuff, yeah? We'll set them up here. Let's do this right. Let's do this proper. Walls, walls... Come on, elevator, get out of here. Uh, walls and walls, and then we need a ceiling. In the proper way. What's a ceiling? Build another ceiling. What's the ceiling? Oh, I don't have enough stability here, I see. I need more stability. Hmm. I can bring it closer, I guess. We can go one closer. Wasn't intending to go closer, but if that's what's necessary to get this build done, we'll do it. Here we go. Ceiling and ceiling. Wall. Alright, so this here, if anyone has never seen this before, this is how you make a trap elevator. This is how you build a trap elevator. So you see, the first thing you do is put all your walls down with a hole in between. The next thing you do is you set it up so that the latch, see that lever, is in the back left. It needs to be back there. It's got to be there. Then, what we do is we put a door here. And you see with the door, this chain is now actually not within this uh, this chamber in here. You have to use this lever to be able to get up and down now. You have to use this lever. We can't actually hit that chain. It's on the other side of the wall. You can't hit it. It also kind of messes with you being able to walk out. You have to crouch out. <laughs> it's a little annoying, but it is what it is because it's just the raised platform down there. So then what you end up doing is you build yourself a door. I'm gonna build a nice, pretty arcane door here for now. Okay, just, just for now, it's fine. Uh, what we'll want to do is actually want to airlock this, and when we airlock it, we'll actually airlock it with a door that you cannot see through, just so that uh, people don't can't get there and see what's going on on the inside. Yeah, so you set it up like this, and so now when you're in here, this is the button to bring it up and down. Unless you're inside, in which this is the button to bring it up and down. But to make it a trap, what we now do is we grab ourselves a roof tile. Take this door off. We take this elevator off. We put this this roof tile here. Oh no, now what? Well, you can actually still put your elevator down using the same trick. And now that we've done that... Look where the latch is. It's right there. That's where the lever is. You can no longer interact with the lever when you're on top of the uh, on top of this elevator. So now that we have this, put a door here. Whoever is in that elevator is stuck. You can't go anywhere. They're now stuck in the elevator. But we can crouch in. We can shut the door because it's our elevator. We're actually climbing on the elevator right on the door right now, which is awkward. So what you do is you now hit the elevator lever, you walk in, you crouch, you close your door, you stand up, we come out of first person mode. Bam! 
We can now use our elevator. No one else can use our elevator. Boom. So this is the this is the first step of the trick. So this is the first step of the trick. So the second step of the trick, because I said we were going to make this an explosion resistant. We're going to make this uh, bomb proof. You ever saw this? So this is one of the things, whenever you go up, if you ever see that slanted door, that slanted roof there, immediately hit this lever to go back down. Because you are doomed. The One of the easy ways to find out if you're not going to run into this is you should see a beam going across where the uh, where those ropes are. So crouch. And we'll walk in. Shut our door. Stand up. Open up a door, and we're free to go. Now, here's the new, here's the next thing. To make this bomb resistant, what we end up doing instead is we actually change these walls to sandstone. Because these walls are what's holding the elevator. So if some person comes along and decides to bomb from inside the elevator, the elevator falls. The elevator is destroyed. It's gone. It ain't coming back. It disappears. So if they blow this up, this will all go away. This whole section will go. And all that will be left will be this, this door, this platform, or this door, the arcane door, the platform, and this hardened reinforced door. Uh, what happens if you go up the trapped elevator? I'll show you. Yeah, so if they do that, they'll blow up these walls, which is what's holding everything together. Oh, come on now. Alright, so if we go up the trapped elevator, this is what happens. Oh man, this guy's a fool. He left his elevator here. Uh oh. Because now you can't move. You're stuck. You can't go anywhere. If I can't open this door... I can't open this. There's nothing there for me to hit. I can't hit this. I'm just stuck in here now. I can't. I can't interact it. See, even holding E to interact doesn't do anything. Have you caught someone in the trap? No, it's more of a deterrent. Um, I might have caught someone, but they probably got offline or something. I've gotten trapped in one of these before, and that's how I realized how this thing worked. <laughs> I got trapped in one once, and I was like, well, this is awkward. But yeah, so now, then if we have this all set up here, we'll go ahead and we uh, remove this roof tile. We go ahead and remove this elevator, pick this back up. Uh, we go ahead and remove this door, pick up the door. We go ahead and re... Now need to, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and swap this out. Let's make sure we put it the right direction. There we go. Sandstone for all of the outer section. So if you ever see this, this is a real trap. Don't try it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your time. So we do this, and then we do... Ramp. Oh, I need fiber for that. Fine, we can do it out of hardened brick. You know what? Just all do it all out of hardened brick. It'll look nicer. Do that. Hey, Silver's Death. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Are you on a PvP server? Yes, we're playing on an official PvP server. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we can just make this out of hard brick. It'll look nicer. It'll probably fool more people if we do it that way, too. That'll work. Hey, Zerg Lich King. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Yeah, if we do this... Like so. We do walls... Here and here and here. Because this way now they need to use multiple bombs if they want to try. But let me double check here. So I feel like that might not be the right way to go. Because that's 52 and that's 50. Yeah, no, we can't do that. Because the walls now have more durability than the door does. So now we can't we can't use tier 2. That's right. We just need a little fiber. That's fine. That's fine. Go back to sandstone. It has to be sandstone. So we'll go ahead and get you down. We have the walls. This guy. That guy. That guy. I can't get the... Um, can't get this ramp here, so that's fine. We'll just go ahead and we'll use a... 
use a, a roof here, that's fine. Because even if that breaks, this will this will fall off. Actually, no, because it's, it's holding onto this, so it will hold. Can't use this. It needs to be a lower, uh, lighter tier. Eh, it's fine. We just need to go and grab one quick thing. So put this down for what the? Why are you outside? Uh, you're not supposed to put it there. You're supposed to put it. Up, 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 up. There. Right. Let's get ourselves downstairs. Grab a little bit of fiber real quick. Need some fiber for this. Is it an open server, or do you have an invite? No, no, it's it's a public it's a public um, official Conan Exiles PvP server. Anyone and everyone can get on it. However, I don't advertise which one it is, just to avoid uh, overpopulation of the server or um, getting stream snipes. However, if you pay attention, you'll find out that the people in the uh, server chat do actually talk about the server from time to time. So if you're paying attention, you'll be able to hop on. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this build here real quick. There we go. Give me this back. I don't know how far. Oh. I can go back to sandstone. I can go to the ramp. Or do you want a roof? I need branches for that. It's fine. I'm just use the ramp. Ramp's fine. Ramp gets the job done. There we go. And then we just need the door, which I'm going to keep keep the arcane door for now. It's not really the one we should be using, but I want to use it. So there you go. All right, if anyone wants to come up here and attack us, or if that silent guy comes up here, the only way he gets up here, the only way he gets up here is by being a cheaty boy. The only way he'll get up here is being a cheaty boy. There is a way, if you're really, really talented, to use the elevator as you're coming up to jump from the elevator to this, but it's really hard. It's really hard. I've, I've, I've spent a lot of time practicing, and I, it's hard. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and put fencing on here. Like so. And now no one can actually get up this way. It's really tough, but now they can't. Just gotta keep that in mind so people can get up elevators. Elevators are an easy way to get up into a base. Not just for you, but also for uh, anyone who's trying to steal all your stuff. All right, crafting stations, smithing, furnaces. Let's get this bad boy rolling. Let's put him in the pit. Put him in the pit for now. We have no intention of building anything in the pit for a bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. We had four before, but that's fine. Let's do this. It's all in it and brick and coal. Let me half of this. Work. Get that. Get that. That. This guy. This guy. And this guy. I'm gonna just deal more coal. Huh. Okay. We don't need it to run for four hours. It's fine. It's gonna take less time than that. All right. So you. You and you. We don't have enough consolidate. Look at that. We're not going to have enough for all the bricks. There we go. This will get more hardened brick working. We'll just burn it here in the house. While we continue to construct, we must construct an amazing house. Can I just dump a vault in here for now? Oh my goodness, we can. There's a vault space. I still walk through this. Oh, I can. Yes. Where's the door? I thought there was a door here. Did I remove that door? I must have removed the door. Okay. That's fine. We don't really need a door there. We have a door over here. But cool. So we've got a vault here, so we can go dump stuff in here for now. Like this other vault. And uh, this. Drop that in here for now. All right, let's go jump up to the top of the sorcery tower and take a good look around and see what we're thinking about the further setting up this build. 
So again, we're looking at doing crafting stations. We're probably going to do a lot of crafting stations on one side, and then maybe do some like more roleplay stuff on the other side. Right? We'll get a wall. We need a wall in here somewhere. We need to set up walls. So if we're going to go and get up some walls in here, kind of section this out. I'm thinking we want at least two. Actually, really should go the other way around, shouldn't it? Yeah, we want the inside looking in. Probably set it up like this. Unless we, because the thing is, if we leave it all open air, this place will be so easily raided. Which I guess is still technically fine if I really set up fortifications on the outside and on the roof. If we really, really get the fortifications set up, we should be fine. Uh, we should be. Yeah, we're far enough away that an ice bridge can't make it there. They can only get up here with sorcery if they use the power of Nurgle. But that's what we're going to get a whole bunch of archers up here for. So we can uh, defend against Nurgle. And defend against the power of Nurgle. We've got two high walls around everything already. Do we want to go three? I guess we do want to go three high for this building, don't we? And we can make some upper terraces as we go. Um, one of the things we're going to want to start doing is actually bringing other materials so we can actually build stations here too. So we can start working on crafting stations. Take a look at Knowledges. Again, we've reset all of our Knowledges, so let's go and let's grab some more Crafting Knowledges here, and let's build some Crafting Stations here. We're going to need some serious stuff that we do not have in here. We're going to need, like, glass and things for that. Blacksmith, smithing... Dismantling for sure. Actually, we don't need the Dismantling Bench anymore, do we? Because we have the Improved Dismantling Bench learned. Interesting. Don't need that. Master Carpenter, uh, Tanner, somewhere. And, oh, I don't have any tanning. Tanning, tanning, tanning. Okay. Our knowledge points are down to 233. Okay. Still plenty. All right, so we need stone consolidate iron. Stone consolidate on these. We can't do that for a while. Okay, and we need to get some other materials if we're going to start playing with some of this stuff. Improved? Oh, we don't have the master one unlocked, do we? Oh. Carpenter's bench. Unlock that. What do we need for a carpenter's bench? Do we have what we need? I doubt it. Wine insulated wood. Okay. Hydrate, you got it. Okay. I'm thinking we might just go and pick up some like, large quantities of other materials, and see if we can just start building up here. I think I want to start putting in the actual stations themselves to get a better feel for how the base structure is going to need to go to combat it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's copy another one of these. And we're going to put some wood in here. I'll we'll just get a bunch of stone cooking in here. We shouldn't need any raw stone, but if we do, we can pull it out. Otherwise, we're just going to use this for that. That'll be good. Alright. Let's go down our trap elevator. Press the button, walk in, close the door, stand up. And we just ride it all the way down. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good now that we got this elevator going. <laughs> Glitching. I'm feeling pretty safe with that elevator there. Now that we've got the uh, the bomb resistant elevator, or I guess it's a bomb trip, like trap, bomb trap elevator. Because what you would normally do if you want to bomb through an elevator is you take the elevator up, and as you go up, you put a explosive on the elevator, or like a couple of explosives on the elevator, and then you activate it and you jump off. And sometimes you land and die, sometimes you don't, but then it'll explode inside there and try and blow up the door. This way, if it explodes, it'll blow up the walls, which will destroy the elevator, and the elevator will fall off. And when that happens, what'll end up happening is we still have these um, these anti-climb fences there. So people can't then just climb up. So we get a nice, sturdy defense. A marvelous defense, some may say. Alright, so we need some insulated wood. We need some iron reinforcements for some stuff that we're working with. Um, 
be enough of those. We need some actual iron. Let's grab that. We need some hardened steel too, which is a lot awkward. The iron, take the steel. Do we have any hardened steel on hand? Ooh, uh, maybe in one of our dump chests that we when we took all of our loot out, we might have some hardened steel floating around somewhere in here. Well, oh, we need this twine, so I'll pick that. I'm confident we need crystal for something. Maybe it's glass that we need. I had that wrong. I don't know. Hey, dancing pants! Thanks for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing today? Any alchemical base? Oh, is that all the hardened steel I have? Yikes! That's not, that's not even close to enough. We'll take uh, we'll take the steel and we'll take some black ice with us. I'll sort that out. I'll sort that out. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so casting basin, yeah, we can do that. So fine. That's fine. Uh, so hardened steel, we need a hundred for the blacksmith. We need stone consolidate, so we'll go grab some of that. We need hardened leather. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oil. That is oil. Light leather, heavy leather, and alchemical base. Let's get some of that working right now. Uh, where's my alchemical? Here we go. Alchemical base. Let's grab some oil. Oils. And then we've got the uh, heavy, thick leather, regular leather. Dump them in here. Regular, heavy. Perfect. And then we have to learn it. So I don't think I have it. Um. Where do we learn that from? Is that armor? I think it's from legendary armor. 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 Uh, we need legendary armor. Reset that. No? Armors? Exiled, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exile uh, armors. There we go. Perfect. Good. Savage armors. We can get our kombucha set. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now we can make it. We need what? 25? There we go. Get that rolling. Sort of limiting factor on this. Uh, looks like the limiting factor is the oil. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing we're starting to work on oil production here. Be tight otherwise. Alright, so that's those. What else do we need? Uh, alchemy. Alright, carpentry. We have everything we need to make carpentry stuff. Alchemy. We. What do we need for this? Okay, so we need glass for the precision bench. But what do we need for you? Alchemical base. Oh my goodness, even more hardened steel. Alright. We can do that, but we need glass. So we'll go ahead. We've got the crystal. We can turn that into glass. We should have some glass lying around. Do some glass lying around. How's it going, John? How are you doing today? Good to see you again. Welcome back. Glass, glass, glass. Where is my glass? We should have a bunch. Got seven in here. It's, I think it's just all over the place, honestly. I think it's... I don't think I've consolidated it into any boxes recently. Let's see. Not in here. Yeah, 200, 299 glass. 34, uh, 38 glass, 40 glass. Yeah, I had a feeling we had glass just lying around. Okay, glass sorted. That has been cleared out. Uh, what else do we need? What are they interesting to move these over? I'm used to having the building hammer on five. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Uh, the improved table, we can get that done. We got enough stuff for that. This we can build. Oh, because of the wood. Okay, we'll hold on to the wood. That's fine. Table we can make with the wood. Uh, this one needs to consolidate. We'll go grab it in a minute. Uh, we need brick for improved. What do we need for master? Thick leather. Okay, we can grab thick leather. Bam. Stack the thick. Uh, we should also grab ourselves some more uh, steel reinforcements. Let's grab another two stacks of that because it looks like we're going to need a lot of it. Uh, what else do we need? I think that's it for this. 
complex and finish. Yeah, we'll make the hardened steel when we get up there. We can make this. Alchemy, we can now make these. When I grab the when we grab the alchemical base. I don't have that on me. Alchemical base is in here, which I already grabbed a full stack of. Let's go grab another from the stack. Fine. You're doing good. You just got this desktop environment desktop environment set up exactly how you wanted it. And you could be happier. That's awesome. It's all organized. It's all prepped and ready exactly how you want it to be. That's great. That's got to be an amazing feeling. General, we need just standard bricks. We have prep bricks being built upstairs. That's fine. So we do have to dismantle the bench. We really didn't need to relearn this regular dismantling bench. That's eight points wasted. That's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and build that stuff later if we care about it. Uh, we need regular bricks. We can get that later. Crystal, if we want to go with the crystal one. We might want to, you know, we can get the crystal one. We can get the crystal one. Let's go grab some blood crystal. We need bone meal for the... for sorcery. Bone meal, stone, torch. Why can't I make a... Oh, I can't make the normal uh, circle until we get more sorcery done. We'll leave the sorcery tower alone for now. We'll come back to that in a bit. Let's at least just get everything else done first. Alright, I think we have everything we need once we pick up the stuff we need for the tannery. Which is not in this, this one. 25, bam. Go ahead and I'll grab this. And you're still cooking on it, but you're almost done. I have to get her more stone consolidate here. Once we got lying around, perfect bunch. Thank goodness. Oh, we made all of it. Yeah. We're gonna have to make more. Right here, you take this 900 and change. Keep going at it. That 600 and extra done. Keep off the extra in here. I don't need that much on me. Okay, let's go ahead and eat food to make sure we have the highest amount of health possible when we pop out here, just in case there's someone camping outside. Looks like we're fine. Even if even if there is someone camping out here, I'm pretty evasive. So I'm not and all we would have to do is get on our elevator. We'll be home free, because once we get up there, we can always just pick up our elevator. Or once we get past our trap, we're fine. It's so clean. <laughs> you can't do uh you can't do half the changes. Uh let me just get through my trap here real quick. Here we go. Alright. Home sweet home. We can only be attacked if someone with the Call of Nurgle shows up, which is still a possibility, but we should hear the bats, and we'll definitely hear the grunting of them landing. So that's good. How much time till daytime? That's middle of the night. Bummer. Look at that. That's pretty cool down there, though. That looks pretty cool. Uh, you couldn't do half of the changes if you were still stuck on Windows on that laptop. But now it's all changed up, you can get everything done you need to. That's great. That's awesome. All right, so now that we can go and we can just build all of our stuff up here, uh, actually something we need to learn is the room. Costs 11 points. I can't believe this thing costs 11 points. It's ridiculous. I don't think it's anything here. I think you have to build it in the artisan uh, or the whatever the other table is. Carpentry table. Artisan table. Put the artisan table here for now. Alright, artisan table. Building my throne. Oh my good gracious, it's expensive. <laughs> but it's worth it, I need one. I need one. We will build it regardless. We have to build it at some point. It must be built. Alright, so our throne. Let's go right here. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Now you can look at our audience. <laughs> it's so good. Sliding off, there we go. Perfect. The throne has been placed. Excellent. Alright, this will be the seat of our power. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start setting up some stations here. Up into station. 
and line this up a little better. There you go, much better. Carpenter station. I can go ahead and move you. Put you right here. Perfect. Looks like quite an impressive base for a solo playthrough. You've never played Conan Exiles though? Yeah, it's uh, most people don't build like this on a PvP server. <laughs> They're building more reasonable base. One that's like highly defensible, but we're building something nice and pretty. Building something nice and pretty today. So smithing, let's go ahead. Which one's Garrison? Is it Garrison or Campaign? That's armors. Yeah, Garrison or Campaign. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We need to go and get a... Get a, high, a heat efficient furnace going over here. I don't know exactly where I want to stick it, so I'll just put it here for now. Go ahead and put. Uh, I don't really want to burn wood. Just snag some coal out of here. Okay. Coal. Hardened steel. It's so fast. <laughs> but it burns through coal like crazy. But it's so fast. So with this, we're gonna once we have a couple of these built up here, we should be good to go. Actually, we can just jam two in here. We jam two here. Oh, that was such a nice place. It's good. All right, so you know what? I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think how we do this is we'll actually have two floors for crafting. I'm starting to think we'll have two setups for crafting down here. Grab all this and we'll use it in these. These are going to be faster than the uh, the two on than all of those on their own. This is actually going to be faster, which is kind of mental to think about, but it is going to be faster. Look at the speed of this. <laughs> it's faster than those three on their own, uh, than three of each type on their own. Significantly faster. Uh, I have no idea what kind of game that is. So we got this going. We'll knock this one down later. I'm trying to think how we want to do this. I think we actually have this be a couple of floors. Go ahead and take this. Let's go ahead and pick this up. All right, so if we, if this is going to be the main entrance coming through here, right? Either way, you walk through one here, or one here, and this is what you see coming here because we can't go through this big old brick, <laughs> right? Uh, let's go ahead and I'm thinking we wall this off here. We can even actually wall it off like this. Because over here, this still gives you access to this build, uh, to this guy, no problem. So we can still put a chest right here. So that works fine. Um, we're gonna just move you down here for a second. I love that we can just pick these things up and move them, even though we placed them. <laughs> so nice. All right, so go ahead and we'll set this. Let's just go ahead and do this, where there's a, a two-piece walkway on the other side for now. Until we get to here. In which we now... On. Get doors. Little doors like this. So if you come from the back side, it's actually going to be more obnoxious to get through <laughs> than if you come from the front side. Like that. 
and then we wall this out. Come on now, here we go. Out of range, and then we'll put a ceiling on this, and then we can have a second floor above it. And we can go ahead and ceiling this. Why can't I find that? Oh, it's like, why can't I find the seats? Oh. So then we can have a second floor. And then what we can do, and then what I think we're going to do is we're going to split this lower level, this one space here. I think this is going to be the crafting side of the building. And the other side is going to be maybe more like crawl stuff. Uh, maybe storage. I'm not too sure exactly how we want to do it. We can always move things around. We can we can cut and paste. It's great. Uh, but what we can do is we can have the lower floor be the refining, and the upper floor floor can be the like higher level crafting stuff. Like so. We have a door here, and we should have a door halfway through this as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So one, two, three, four, oop, one, two, three, four, five. Bam. Go ahead and give me one of these. There we go. Door. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up as well. It isn't a game, but a time period in... Oh, I see. You're looking at the... the okay. I see, because you're looking at the style that we've done for the uh, for the throne throne space up here. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha, John. I know which. I I I'm on the same page now. <laughs> I've gotcha. Yeah, this is gonna be our this is gonna be our bedroom up here. I think we're gonna put another elevator in here. I don't know. Maybe we put a door here. I don't know if we do. I'm still of the opinion that we put a wall there. It feels more cramped if we do this, though. I liked how open it felt prior. Hmm. We can push this in one more if we want. Like so. <laughs> Put this here. And this is faces outside, faces outside. And then we go ahead and we just block this here. Like so. Put another door in. But essentially having it be where it's a corridor out through just the crafting space. Which maybe we leave it like that. Kind of nice. We need stairs in here somewhere, so we can do stairs up this. We can do stairs there. Which we want those types of stairs. We're going to have to back them up one. Maybe we go this way. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Hope to get here. Leave these walls down for right now. We don't want to go too big on the walls right yet. Okay, that feels pretty good. That way we still have this open space here. But we can still get a crafting in here. And so I think we yeah, I think we're gonna do refining down here. 
Look at how fast this is. It's absolutely blinding. <laughs> it's blindingly fast. If we get our thralls up here, it'll be even faster. Alright, so if we can get our alchemy tables up here too, then I guess we're good to go. But I really want to get... I guess I kind of want to... I kind of want to just do all smithing in one place if I can help it. Okay, I can't remember. The... Which one is fast? Which one's slow? Uh, I can't remember which one's which. I think... Garrison is the cheaper, but the campaign is the... No, no, Garrison's the faster, but campaign is the... Campaign's the faster. Garrison's the cheaper. Garrison's the cheaper one. Garrison's the cheaper one. I remember. I'll be taking those. Okay. Garrison's the cheaper one. So... We have this, we do garrison. I'd like to get this set up and what we can have them like right next to each other here. This person's gonna be sitting in the anvil, but I think that's fine. <laughs> Uh, we will also need a standard improved blacksmith, though, because the the top tier blacksmith actually can't make the bottom tier equipment. Top tier blacksmith actually cannot make basic gear. So if you jump in here, we'll see that we can't make any of our iron iron tools. Or wait, we make the iron tools. We can't make. Oh, uh, here we go. So you see all these these weapons. All these weapons are star metal type guys. We can't make the basic versions. See how it shows both the iron type and the normal type, and the uh, blood, blood crystal, <laughs> the star metal, and the iron. If we go to the other one, we only get the star metal. We don't get both. It doesn't let us make the lower quality ones. So we'll have two. We need to have both of them here. Although, I wonder... No, that just blocks this whole place off. We <laughs> cannot get past that way if we do it that way. Yikes, yeah, we gotta do some serious repairs. Our armor's about to break. And we are looking at upgrading our armor here. So that should be fine. Alright, so that's blacksmithing and refining sorted. So next is armor. Armor crafting. So the improved armor bench, we could just sneak right here. We can sneak that there. That fits. But the... Garrison Armorer's Bench takes up significantly more space. Like, a lot more space. Uh, I'm thinking we can actually move you further down. This guy can actually fit underneath the table, uh, underneath the staircase, right? Pretty good. You can move the artisan table to be right behind it. There we go. Nice. So it gives us all this space here. We might be able to get everything down here. I mean, unfortunately, the tannery, the improved tannery is huge. <laughs> it's massive. We don't want the plant base. We want the precision. Precision is nice and tiny, nice and thin, so we can get that in here. Uh, let's go and get the Garrison's armor bench. Put this here. And then we can go ahead and get the precision tannery. Should fit right in here. Oh, it's a little too long. We can put it here, though. We can still weave our way through everything. So it's still cramped, but it's like put together nicely. So it's like a little walkway to get through here. Uh, okay. We can get a tinker's table in here. I mean, the ones that we're still missing is alchemy. That's the only stuff we're missing now. Problem is the precision guy is a little big. I 
Uh, cauldron. This cauldron needs more hardened steel, but this thing's huge too. I'm gonna have to be an upstairs piece. It's too big. Unless we push this out one wall. I'm still I'm still on the fence about pushing it out a wall. I don't know. I don't know about pushing it out a wall. So far, I like how this stuff's actually fitting in here. Although I don't really like the way this is looking with this huge flat back. I want something else to its back if we can get it. I mean, otherwise we could jam it in the corner. We only need to get to the artisan table from here. Really, there's no need for a thrall in here. Um, this is yeah. Okay, so we're missing two alchemy pieces. Uh, dismantling bench and whatnot we can put elsewhere. That's fine. This has different locations to go. Carpentry. So we're missing alchemy and the, uh, the improved table, which does fit here, actually. <laughs> we can't. We actually can put the improved tanner's bench here. That does fit nicely. This means we're only missing alchemy stuff and the dismantling table. But everything else fits in here perfectly fine. Or at least one of each. We can always put in more of them later and redesign the setup. I think this is going well so far. Get some more stone can solid in here. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to swap this. Put some some brick production here. There's stone consolidate in here. I don't know if we keep one stack on us. Okay. Feels good. All right. Let's see. Door pieces reinforced. Let's get some arcane doors in here because they look pretty. Let's actually wall this off now, so let's door this up. People can't just quickly walk in. Upstairs here, unfortunately, it's kind of kind of the way it is. We're just gonna do this for now. Just that for now, the only way in is through. So if anyone decides to fly up here when it's not raid window time, they still can't grab anything. All our stuff is in here. Get worked on. Nice. This feels good. This feels really good. I like this. I like this setup. It's, it's good old craftsman workshop down here. It's gonna be noisy. But it's good. We're just missing alchemy, which we can put alchemy in its own little space. I don't really want to put it too far away. So I'm thinking we put it on the second floor. How can we set alchemy up here? I wasn't gonna put the walls down, but we're gonna put the walls down. Just put a one high wall here. Oop, don't fall off now. <laughs> it's gonna make life real hard if we just plummet through it up. Alright, so one wall all the way around here. Now, if we go ahead and we build the last stuff that we need to, which is alchemy stuff. Dismantling table. The dismantling table put up front. Put the dismantling table like over there or something. Me, precision fireball cauldron. We can get this in the far back here. Just gonna center that more. There we go. Nice, very nicely placed. Okay, good. So this now takes 50, not 75, for the explosives. So we'll be able to get significantly more explosives going forward, which is good. Which is very good. Okay. And now, let's see here. The trade bench, because this one is fast, but more resources. This is efficiency, but slower. So then the precision alchemy table or alchemy bench is the one I want.
So close. Funnily enough, that is straight. Even though it doesn't look straight. And it's almost straight. It's the same thing. It takes, it takes less to be able to make things. So, for example, resetting your attributes only takes one of everything now. Makes things a lot cheaper. Actually, I don't know if that affects the pouches. No? Not sure if it does. You know, it'd be kind of interesting if we had a way to get in from the sorcery tower over here. We have a hookup to the sorcery tower from here. Oops, it's the wrong button. <laughs> oh, wow. I've actually used all of our hardened brick building this. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't, didn't realize you were that exact. All right. Good thing we're building a whole bunch of hardened brick down here. Bam. You finished your jump. Perfect. Everything up here, which gives more hardened brick and stone consolidate back and everything. But yeah, I think this would be actually a good way to set this up. I don't know what else we do with the rest of the room up here. This wall and this wall. And we can go through here as our doorway. We're gonna have to put that back. Because it goes right underneath the stairs, which we can't really do anything with right now. Regardless. We have this as our door. Our arcane door. The wall. Nope, that's not where we want it. I mean, we're gonna want a wall there eventually, but I want this wall first. Perfect. I still don't know what we're going to do with that. Let's see if we can finish enclosing this section over here. So let's get a door from our bedroom, I guess is what we'll do. So we'll do a door from here, but I think we're going to leave this open. We're just going to put anti-climb around this. Not there. Put anti-climb on here, so that we, because I want to still keep this as like an open feel, right? I still want to make this whole interior of the base feel open. I still want the feel open. It's going to be, need to be too high for us to accommodate the crafting stations. Besides, it's well, that's interesting because our bedroom, huh? Can we make our bedroom taller? I don't know. That's going to be weird if we make it taller. We can have the front piece here be tall and then ramp down. Or we can use uh, roof pieces here, actually. We can use roof pieces here. So if we use this triangle piece here, these pieces will work. Oh, not that way. I cannot really see it with this background. <laughs> uh, it won't let us. Not with this here. Maybe it won't let me in general. There we go. Okay. And let's go get that back. Crafting station, alchemy, precision bench. Yeah, that was my... That's my assumption, is that that was a little too close for its comfort. We're building it that way. I guess that's fine. We can have a little bit of space behind it. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, so the thrall sits here, and then this thrall sits here. You can have it be like that. Get a corner piece. Corner piece. This one's going to be awkward. Uh, no, we can use the corner piece here. There we go. Right. Yeah, the corner piece fits. And it's really hard to see with the color of the sky. <laughs> I'm struggling. Uh, we can get this guy here and we can get the inverted V. Cover that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that didn't quite work. There we go. Yeah, this looks good. I like this. It's looking pretty good. Nice. All right. If we can just close off this piece here, which I guess will turn this from fences into walls, for the moment at least. Or maybe we just put a little box around this with a door. We can move all of our production buildings, or at least all of the active production. We're probably going to leave all the buildings in that zone over there. Leave it there as backup, just in case. But that means we can then move all of our active production from there to over here to significantly increase the speed and or decrease the price. Of materials, making it so we can make a lot more. Hey, Elrin. Hydrate, you got it. Hold on. Mmm, perfect. Alright. Alrighty. Let's finish building off this roof here. Ah. We're out of hardened brick. Whatever shall we do? There's no more hardened brick. It's all gone. Actually, open this up. Let's put this vault down here. There we go. <laughs> Dump that all in there. All right, let's go grab some stuff. Our purge meter is probably going to hit that mark by the end of this build. Yeah, I got a little fight pit there. It's for our amusement. But for right now, it's just going to hold our vault. So I can just grab all of my junk from down here and bring all my junk back up there. Alright, let's go and grab our thralls. Let's go and grab material. Let's, let's, get, let's get moving everything up there for now. Again, we'll take it out of our base when we're done. Just so that when we get, if we get raided. Because I imagine people go and check that place more so than this place. Once we have that built. People will probably recognize that this is the uh, starting base, and <laughs> the one up there is the actual base. I think people will be smart enough to recognize that. Alright, uh, what do I need to bring? Bring stone, bring wood, bring hides, bring fiber. Uh, bring this and this and this. Anything else used for building and constructing? Actually, we're going to take this um, over here. Leave it, it's fine for now. Let's move take it all, but now we'll leave it. Oh, there's more insects here. Nice. We'll swing by and grab these later. Okay. Now what matters is we're gonna grab all of you, and you, and you, and... What's the coal? And we're gonna grab all you, and you, and you, and you, and we'll leave, like, a hundred coal, just in case we need it. Grab all this. Grab these. You can keep making those iron reinforcements, that's fine. You might as well keep burning. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's just leave 200 in here for emergencies. Grab everything we don't need. Uh, we'll let this can, the dryer still go. We don't do it, we're not building anything that requires an actual active dryer on our build site right now, so it's fine. The wood's fine. The barry with us. We'll leave these here. The and stuff we don't really need right now. Oh, the tan. Yeah, we have a tan. Wait, why do we have a basic tanner's table and the improved one in here? I don't know. Was, I don't know why I did that. This tar, uh, give me most of this. Take two of these. Take some hard, or uh, thick leather. Mm -hmm. As well. Get that going. Hides. We'll leave the crystal, the blood crystal for now. We can take this though. Blood, we can leave that. We'll, leave all, we'll take all this dust with us. The steel. Uh, why don't you take the silk? Did I take the other silk? Do I only have 21 here? No, I don't. the other silk too. Perfect. 
Do the rest there. What else do we have? Junk. Take all this brimstone. We'll leave the ash for now. We'll take the silver. We'll take the coal. Demon blood. Satchels and everything else will sit. We'll take all this. Actually, no, we don't need the ash. Rock that rock. Maybe need that. We'll take all the star metal at least. Gold, silver, steel, uh, iron, and link. Uh, we're going to leave all this stuff here because we're doing sorcery here right now. The blood, elephant hide, the oil for sure. Leave everything else. We're only taking stuff for building. We'll take two things of black ice. We don't need the rest. The bears and the like we'll sort out later. Not right now. The I guess we'll take some twine. Take a stack for why not. Crystal, Baker, that's that. Over here, what do we want? What do we want? What do we need? What do we want? What do we need? Nothing. <laughs> Perfect. What do we want? What do we need? What do we want? What do we need? Nothing. Perfect. Okay. Anything in here we need? We'll take the other thing over. Why not? Nothing there. These are just tools. We can leave this here. And that's the remainder of our building materials, which will take all that. Take the oil that we've made. I'll have to go ahead and get more oil going soon. This should just be garbage in here, but there is some stuff that we might want. Wolf pelts, some leather, some branches. Take the glass. And then nothing. Alright. I think that's everything we want to bring with us. We'll move our... We'll move our followers and like with us a little later here. Bearing armor. I found it. There we go. Bearing armor check. I right, take the branches, take the stone, take the wood, take the glass, take the fibers, take the crystal, take the steel. Uh, I think that's everything. Huh. This is still churning, it's good. Why is my health low? What about 640 maximum health? Oh, interesting. You know why we had 640 health? You know why we had 640 health? Our potion that gave us a plus 60 vitality, plus 60 health, ended. That potion ended. The potion we were using ended. And for some reason, the potion didn't give us that plus 60 to start with. It was bugged out for some reason. <laughs> But when it ended, by golly, did it take our 60 health away? <laughs> Interesting. Wouldn't it be funny if elevators couldn't take you off if you're over encumbered? <laughs> you're over the lifting occupancy, or it's over the uh, occupancy limit. Or the weight limit, rather. There we go. Alrighty. Hello, Vault. Take all of it. Look, it takes literally everything. Vaults are amazing. Alright, give me this. Okay, let's go ahead. We've got plenty of iron stuff right now. Let's take this coal out. Uh, coal. Take all the coal. Uh, what else do we want? We want hide. Right there, hide. Pick hide. We don't really want to take, do that quite yet. What else do we need? Uh, we'll definitely take you and you. Stone can solve it for sure. It'll just be easier if I scoot through it visually. Bricks. Uh, let's get our smelters. Stone. 
brick. Okay. I think that's good for now. Perfect. So over here, we're just turning all of this stone into brick at a rapid rate. We're going to put our smelter tier 2 in here. Makes it even look at how okay, look at how fast it goes. Look how fast look, look at watch this bar. See how fast it's going? And we put the tier two in here. It glitches to show you how fast it's going. Compared to put the tier four. It's absolutely mental. It's mental, but it burns through coal at like I think it's like 10 times the rate that it burns through coal, so we need 10 times as much coal to run these heat-efficient furnaces. But it's absolutely mind-blowing the speed that we're able to get stuff cranked out now. We've been waiting around to try and get stuff built uh, faster, right? We've been trying to get all these bricks and everything built faster. The fastest way for us to do this is by far going to be by using these heat-efficient furnaces to crank this stuff out. It's way faster than having eight individual tier ones running. It's going to be a lot faster. Crazy fast. We'll get going with that. There's two different furnace types. There's the heat efficient furnace, and then there's the fuel efficient furnace. So heat efficient furnace is very, very fast. Fuel efficient furnace is normal speed, but you use your fuel significantly slower. So depending on where you build. Right, if you build like up in the snow and there's like up in the snow regions around here where there's not a lot of wood or coal or anything, it's actually quite nice. I can only make the uh, the legendary stuff here, which is why we need this guy. Make the basic stuff, which is stuff. You think you prefer the fast one, but uh, that is with the boosted gathering rate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So that's, that is now rolling. Is there anything else we need to build? Crafting station-wise and everything else? Or have we have we completed it all? Is it done? We have all of the things that we need to build for crafting going forward. Not really, but at least we have enough that we can start working on for the roof again. Now we have the stone consolidant being made. Or not the stone consolidant, but the uh, hardened bricks being made at a ridiculously blinding speed. <laughs> a truly blinding speed. So we'll be able to stay on top of this now. Now that we've got our followers over here, or our thralls over here. Again, most of these thralls we've actually grabbed from conquering, which has been great. I'm, I'm very happy with how much raiding we've been doing. Because again, usually I don't do a lot of raiding. So I'm very pleased with the amount of raiding we've been doing. I need an inverted B. There we go. And for now, I think we're just going to sealing off this piece. I'm going to put pillars in the main room, too. We want this to be open, so we're going to need pillars to hold stuff up. So unfortunately, we're going to have a very flat roof, which does make us incredibly vulnerable to uh, all sorts of things, unfortunately. Um, all sorts of styles of attack we end up being very vulnerable to with this setup. However, it, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. We might end up sending some, setting something else up on top here, maybe like crenellations or something. Maybe put like additional something on top, just so it makes it harder for people to land. We just need to finish this side of the building. That side of the building can still be air open. It's just we have all these crafting stations here on this one now. I want to make sure this is nice and taken care of. Don't have any issues. There we go. Oh, by the way, the character beggar just murdered you. Oh, 
No warning at all, just killing sight. Not man, just wanted to give you a heads up. Seems first unfriendly you've run into. There aren't many unfriendlies, which is quite nice. But they still do exist. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. So beggar, you say. Level 60 of India is greater than China. Okay. Okay. It's kind of rude. Kind of rude. Uh, Liam, I don't know who you are, but uh, pretty much everyone except these two are level 60, so I'm assuming you're level 60. So, and if you're level 60, unfortunately it's kind of fair game once you hit level 60. Yeah, it's a good heads up. Thank you. You're sub-60? Well, oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's quite rude. Same for V here. Same here. And crown this guy here. Perfect. There we go. And then we just do kind of like a ceiling across it, I think. Yeah, and this way we can see. Oh, it looks really nice. Looks really nice. I think this looks good. I'm pretty happy with this. And what we'll do is get a door. You know, the arcane door, because these doors are pretty. They're nice, pretty doors. Arcane door on our bedroom. Still have this hole in here. I think for now we'll just leave it blocked up. Nice. Alright, so what I'm thinking we do for now is we're just going to wall this off. to do because we end up with that problem. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of open air, but we're going to need some pillars to give it some more stability here. We can definitely give pillars at the corners here. That's an awkward pillar. That's a real awkward location for a pillar. On the other side of this, oh, we can't really push further in, can we? That's an awkward pillar placement. We can put pillars in the center here, though. We can put them in the center. Like so. That might be nice. How's it going, Chaos? How are you doing today? These might actually look pretty cool like this. Let's get some hard break real quick. Uh, 217. She's wild with how fast she makes these. In order to improve the roof rating cost, add anticlimb on every edge, and then use the rooftop pieces to fill in the area. Yeah, I think we'll end up doing that later. Right now, I just want to want to build out what it looks like from underneath. But yeah, I think you're right. We'll need to do something like that. How are you doing, Spexer? We're starting off with just making this look pretty. Then we'll make it more, uh, oh, what am I doing? I'm going to stack of this sucker in here. Perfect. Let's, let's drop off this stuff. I don't need to be carrying this on hand right now. Let's actually go and move this back. Out of the way, just so we can get a good view of the pit. Yeah? Yeah, I think those pillars actually will work quite well. We can go and we can put lights on them, right? We can put, we can put torches hanging off of those, some braziers. Either put torches on them or put like, uh, maybe like um, hanging fire pits. That'd be really cool. Rather just chat, counting down until Armored Core 6 gameplay is shown in about 6 hours and 15 minutes. Uh-oh, Chaos, don't say that in chat. 
If Dalka hears, he's gonna get excited. <laughs> Dalka's been talking about Armored uh, Armored Core 6 as well. He's excited. He's been talking about Armored Core 6 for the last four months, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think this looks good. Doing fine, currently uh, trying out one of the modded servers with one of the hardest mods in it. Oh, interesting, okay. But also one of the most OP mods since you get to the end. Interesting. I wonder how that works. All right, so with these pillars, let me get up, I need to get upstairs. Oh, wrong way. I need to go upstairs. Yep. Thank you. All right. With these pillars here, this should give the stability we've been looking for. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is good stability we need. We might even use this uh, upper floor, honestly. Might even use this as an upper floor. What we can do is we can actually change this to being an upper balcony, change this to a stair of some kind, instead of a ramp, maybe? And have it so that this could be like an upper, upper staging room or something. I'm not quite too sure. We can always build further up. Nothing says we can't. Nothing says we can't keep building taller. Like, the, it's really hard hard to hit the sky limit when you're building at this height. If we were over on the volcano, then yeah, you can hit the sky limit. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a lot harder down here. Let's go do that. Did somebody say... <laughs> oh my goodness, Cat. Did somebody say Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker? <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's your thought on Don't Mention Armored Core? Man, I remember that being spammed. Boy, oh boy, howdy, do I recall that. Something what we'll do is when we get offline, I'll just take all of the items out of this base. I'll go and uh, remove the trap on the elevator. I'll then open all the doors, and then people can just walk in here. Reason being is then there's no reason for them to go and raid us. Reason to break this beautiful this beautiful construction we're making right now. The top floor here is again a little plain. It's a little plain up here right now. But I think we'll, I can live with that for the moment. Go. Mm. Map room teleporter on top. Ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, not a bad idea. Also, welcome back. How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. Sky limit seems very high. You remember you climbed... Oh, yeah, that's right. We climbed to the top of that tower. <laughs> Ten minutes, you're right. The sky limit on this uh, game is ridiculous. It's crazy tall. It's way up there. Way, way up there. So if you actually build up there, it never renders in. That's why sky bases are overpowered and not allowed in this game. Oh, gross. I actually really want this one higher. You know what? I, I think I want this I think I want the ceiling one higher. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I like this depression in here. I think I think it feel it it's not open enough. I need this to feel more open. It's not open enough. Better days since your Conan client isn't uh crashing every minute today. That's great. Oh wait, yesterday it was doing it constantly. That's brutal. Yeah, this is this just isn't open enough. Alright, new plan. New plan. We're gonna we're gonna raise this whole thing up. We're literally gonna raise the roof, everyone. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> we're gonna raise the roof. Disconnect that. That's disconnected. Disconnect this here. Good. 
it down and then disconnect above each of these. So we don't have to do all of them. Guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. You forgot how what to do? You're gonna have to use your hands. You're gonna have to make it look really cool. Or if you take this paper I've got right here next to you, you can fold it and make a paper hat. We better do it quickly. Let's raise the pillars all by one. So yeah, I guess this is just gonna be another floor right here. We're just gonna make a, a, a top floor here. Like a super top floor. Let's go ahead and get our support structure set up first. So, no, don't do that. No, that's not okay. There we go. It's <laughs> like it's. You've got to have it go the right direction. It must be done. Does it count if you hold onto your headset? Yeah, it counts. It counts. You can hold onto your headset. That works. It's like a hat. Mostly for your ears. But, you know, there's a little bit that goes on top. If you said earbuds, I'd say no. no earbuds don't count as a hat. Yeah, if we can enclose this... So our goal now is to try and enclose our building. So I think we're actually going to knock this out here too. Place those pillars. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Gracious. There we go. Raise this up so we have more stability off of that, so that's good. Breaking these pillars is going to knock a huge hole in the ceiling, but that's fine. I don't expect them to go crazy with trying to break the pillars. How big is the central pit? That's a good question. The central pit is uh, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a 5 by 6 hole. It's kind of like I was planning on making it. I kind of just wung it with <laughs> getting the hole in there. It wasn't really super pre-planned, but I like it. I like the pit in there. It looks good. Second rule of fighting pit is you don't talk about fight pit. It's a it's a place with stuff for hobbyists and enthusiasts, and that's about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's the wrong direction. All must, all must face north. All right, perfect. The entire roof is sorted. Let's go and fill in this space. The Y. Nice. Let's do the same here. This guy here, and then we need to go and get our third floor. Okay. Nope. I fell off. No good. Oh, this, this is really coming together. Oh, that's so bright. I can't see. Quick, build the t build the walls taller. I can't see. All right, nice. That's nice. That's one of those uh, completely covers the ears. Ah, the headset. And does a total noise canceling. Oh, nice. Got a few last year uh, when it turned out, uh, family had a tiny baby. 
<laughs> it's moving in downstairs for me. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, I have a noise-canceling headphones, so that's definitely going to help. <laughs> that's great. Don't want that there. I need to set. All right. This has been very good. The construction on this. We've done a lot of progress today with the construction. This guy. Maybe capstone these. Did that not stick? No, it did. Okay, good. Need the Y. That guy. Perfect. Now we can finish just layering off the top. I don't know if we're going to need more supports here, though. I don't think we do, but we might. We'll see in a moment. No, we're fine. Plenty of support. Yeah, it's a, it's a full second floor now. So we now have se second. <laughs> it's four high. We have a four high internal base. A four high internal base. And it is gorgeous. Oh no, we're all out. Whatever shall we do? Uh, downstairs. Still want to make sure we shut these doors, just in case someone's coming through. Oh, he's run out of... He's run out of brick. <laughs> hey, we need to get him more stone. 500 and change. Um, here, you hold on to this for right now. And we'll dump this away. Let's get some more stone to keep this going. Unless there's some stone in here. Stone. We'll grab some stone for this guy real quick. <laughs> he's blasted through it all already. door, please. Thank you. <laughs> Don't know why I wasn't reacting to me. Open the door. Now we crouch. That's door. Down we go. Our base is really coming together. It's still still rateable. Anything's like it's still it's still rateable. It's still not the worst raid to go for. But it's going to at least deter brand new players. It's now at the point that it'll deter brand new players. And again, we won't keep all of our good, amazing loot in there. Should be good. I think you need to change the door on the other side of the door frame. Uh, I'm not too sure what you mean. It'll be interesting to see when the purges build war bases next to the base. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. Oh, so you don't get stuck like that? Oh, you mean like move the door uh, hinge to the other side of the wall? Yeah, we should probably do that so that way it doesn't open over the uh, over the door mechanism, over the lever, or the chain rather. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm really loving this base that we're building. It is really coming together. It's nice and big and spacious. Once we get all the doodads in there, it's going to look so nice. It's going to look so nice. How's it going, Leaf Beowulf? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're going to love it when you see how the base is going. You're going to love it when you see how it's going. Yeah, the, the gorgeous harvest rates. They're so beautiful. Just you wait until you see how we're doing on our base. We're going to be out here until the sun comes up. That's our plan. We should probably get some water while we're down here, too. It's a piggy! We're literally going to ignore the pig. All right, well, if you get it for more tar. There we go. One shot. Hello? There we go. We can get more tar off him. 
We might as well harvest them. A very powerful sword. This is the sword you guys get for watching the stream. So for the Twitch drop, this is the sword. It's a gorgeous sword. Also, real quick reminder for everyone who's hanging out in chat. I don't know uh, if we talked about it all at the stream. I always forget when we get later on into the votes. But if you guys have yet to vote for what game's going to be taking over our Monday-Tuesday time slot, Conan Exiles will continue doing on weekends, but for our Monday-Tuesday time slot, we do need a new game to replace Fallout 4, which is what we were playing before. Uh, if you have not voted yet, then please go ahead and vote. I've got the link right here in the chat. Do I? I don't. We'll go ahead and get into the chat. There it is. It's in the chat. Otherwise, it's in Discord or it's in the About page down below where it says Current Votes. You can go ahead and click on that as well. It's a ranked choice vote. Whatever gets the... Uh, whatever you're most interested in, you put in position one at the very top. Whatever you're least interested in at the bottom, kind of rank them out. Whatever gets the most votes, the most points accumulated across everyone's voting is what we'll be playing starting next Monday. Whatever gets the least amount of votes is going to be removed from the next vote list. Whatever gets second place is guaranteed to be on the next vote list for that time slot. Go ahead and vote if you haven't. Please do. Right, it's almost eight time. Finish up getting this rocks. Should probably get some more coal actually while we're out here because we are eating through coal now. We just chomp through coal. Is I walking over coal? Yeah. <laughs> it's this dark spot in the middle, middle of the night, tripping over it. Uh, I think there's more coal over here. I think I just have to keep going further down. Yeah, there it is. It's tough to see in the middle of the night. Any more coal? Yeah, all right. Let's head back. The sun is rising. Let's head back. How much damage does the sword do? A lot. <laughs> Uh, it, do it does quite a bit. Uh, our sword does 36 damage with the uh, weapon with the weapon attachment on there. The weapon damage attachment. Hello, piggies. <laughs> a bonk. I need to go get a star metal skinning knife going so we can get some more hides when we do this. So it's more efficient. But yeah, that's the sword you guys can get by uh, watching the drops for Witch today. There's the base. Look at it. It's starting to come together. I guess we kind of want to redo how the Sorcerer Tower is looking, but I also don't want to change anything there. Missed him with the light attack. Wow, my heavy attack did not do nearly as much damage. Granted, I wasn't doing your running heavy attack this time. Our throat feels dry. Uh, I think we have a bunch of berries inside, so this should be fine. We'll just drink the berries. Looks like a solid base. Thank you. Uh, it looks solid, but it's actually as hollow as a can. <laughs> It looks it looks rock solid, but it's actually as solid uh, it's, a, it's as solid as a uh, an empty cardboard box. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's move this to the other side. I think you're right. That's a good call. Can I move it like this? No. Gotta pick it up. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that was a good call. <laughs> Make life easier. Alright. Home sweet home. It's nice and hollow in here. Pretty easy to bust in, if you really wanted to. Do you have any actual active hides for us to work on here? We got some bark. That's good. We don't have a tanner. Hides. We don't actually have a tanner. 
This thing's a little awkward, but that's fine. Alright, we'll go ahead and drop this off in here. Drop some hides and a bunch of fur. Get that rolling. Look at how fast that is. Look how fast it is. It's nuts. Some more fur. Uh, what are we looking at coal wise? Just a little more coal for you. A little more coal for you. Pop off the rest of the coal for you. What you burning? It's got a larger inventory capacity too than the basic one. Get this iron smelted as well. Look at that, already 855 lying around. This is so much better, this heat-efficient furnace. So much better. Uh, I don't really know what we're going to do with all the... Whoop, we're going to do with all the meat, so I think we're just going to dump the meat in this box here for now. We'll probably end up rotting, but that's fine. Reinforcements... Finish closing off the, the inside here. Then we'll finish getting some doors on it, and then this place will be secured during off raid hours. During raid hours, this is, you know, the least secure tier. Well, it's a moderately secure tier three base because we have all the anti climb, and we have the we have the elevator trap. So it's, I wouldn't actually say it's the least secure tier three base out there, but it's it's you know, you just have to take out one wall. And you have pretty much full access. I guess you need more than just one wall, realistically speaking. There we go. Perfect. Nice. I'm very happy with this. It's good. Now, the fence is here. Fence is here, so people can't just climb up. They have to actually break through with the bottom. They can't just climb up to try and come in through the roof. As many do. Again, gotta look the right direction. Yeah, we still have a lot more work to do. We're definitely not done. And the base design is probably gonna be revamped a couple of times as well. I don't think this is going to be the final design. I definitely see us changing up the design here a little bit. Because I don't know exactly what we're going to do on the second floor here. But we have plenty of space for it. So I guess, yeah, a map room would definitely work. Uh, transitory stone would definitely work. I think the map room would take precedence here. And the transitory stone could go one floor higher on the sorcerer tower. Is what we might end up doing. Right if we go one higher on the sorcerer tower to there. We had the map room right here. And then I don't know what we do with the rest of the space. We left one facing the wrong way. Ooh, okay, good catch. Good catch. I'll go check that. doesn't actually matter if it's facing the wrong way, but aesthetically... Well, I don't see it. Did I catch it? Hmm. I can never get on when you are because of the ping. Oh, that's no good. You pass it? Oh, okay. I'll go back through it. I'll go back through this. All these are correct. These are all correct. You saw it was on the corner? Okay. Those are right. These are right. Ah, there it is. Good catch. Good catch. I totally whiffed it. Nice catch. Perfect. There's always something you forgot you were going to need space for. Having extra space doesn't stink. That's true. 
That's true. Having extra space won't hurt us in the long run. Still is useful. Really doesn't make sense to do that there. Problem is, we can actually, if I remember correctly, I think we can actually climb up this. Uh, maybe we can't. If I, if I do this right, I think I might be able to. If we drop and then hit jump, oh, we have to we have to drop and then hit jump on the right wall, and I think we can do it. You have two hundred and eight ping. Oh my goodness, you're eight ping over the over the the limit. Ah, okay, doesn't look like I can grab it, so that's good. Which means the only way in right now is this. Which means you don't technically need this one here. We can revamp this to be a proper roof. Move this in one. Depends on how we stash everything in here. This this tower is definitely going to be redesigned. But for whoop, for right now, we're just going to cap this. So that the there's no roof access right now. It keeps everything inside. Totally good. Here. Don't have any berries on hand. I thought I did. I'll have to go get some water in a second. Let's go ahead and get some walls in here. Oh. I don't know what we're going to put in this corner, but we can put something there. I'm not sure what. It might be another door outside. And like how we have this one here, that we could make a door outside. And a little hallway here. This is going outside, so... Put one where you can't see inside from. Which I guess doesn't really matter, now that I think about it, because... You can just punch your face through this and see the other doors. Although, from here, you can't see where you're going. It's true. Alright, perfect. Done. Now, let's just go ahead and get a couple of doors. And this place is completely secured. Alright, you can't get in here unless you can open a door, which means you can't get in here unless it's raid window time. Excellent. The door frame here. We can go ahead and get a... One of those. Do this side and grab the opposite one. There we go. Perfect. And then from here we can see everything. Now, do we still want to have like a privacy thing to make it like uh, enclose it a little bit? I want to do something with like a ramp. Do with these. Hmm. Can you grow berries in this game, or are they just something you can gather? You can grow all plants. Every single plant you can grow, other than trees. I don't think I think trees are the only thing you can't grow out of all plants. Yeah, you can do lotus, you can do just regular bushes, you can do berry bushes, you can do um, aloe. So we'll get a little farming setup for sure. Yeah, we'll gradually end up getting seeds that you can put into planters. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, we can go and get some planters online right now. Unlock peasant, unlock farmer, and then unlock... The agriculture? Agriculturist. Okay. We're to farming. Insulated wood. Like that. 
It's a hundred hardened brick per. Jeez. Holy. Yeah, I think we're gonna just we can set up a little farm where we just kind of have one of everything kind of growing right here. I think would be great. Uh, we'll also want to get a compost bin. Compost bin here. Compost bin here. We'll have two compost bins. One compost bin is going to be for general garbage, and the other one's going to be for making the uh, the higher quality. So low quality and high quality fertilizer. We'll end up using for those. Uh, okay. A dismantling bench. We need some standard, nothing special, basic, normal bricks. Dismantling bench built in here. Some bricks. Still plenty. Give me those. Eventually we'll get this... Actually, now that we're completely enclosed, we can actually get this going again. There we go. I'm thinking maybe we change these over. Yeah, let's change these out. For these, we can use the arcane reinforced walls. A little less sinister. That looks nice. Again, we might change this to all of these and not have the fences on the inside. I haven't decided yet. It's still up in the air. Alright, what were we looking at? Farming. General. Ah, dispensing bench. I bet it doesn't fit here. <laughs> it's too big. That'd be actually a nice spot for it. I'll just mention bench somewhere near the door, yeah? Near the front door? Seems like a good spot. And we can just stick it, tuck it right in this corner here. Tuck it right in this corner here, and we can have like a, a dump chest right next to it. Storage. No iron reinforcements, you say. We have a few of those. Stack. The box right next to it. Lock it. Name it. To be dismantled. Wow, I did not spell that right at all. I'm missing it. That's ah, fine. We'll fix it later. Hey, Vadim. Welcome. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. If it didn't by any chance... Are you... Are you Venom? I can't remember if it was Venom or Vadim over there. By any chance is that you? By any chance could that be you? Over by the Great Dam? By any chance? I'm hoping. I wanted to say hi to our neighbor who started building over there, but we never had the opportunity to say hi. If not, that's fine. Welcome. Do you play this game on private servers, public servers? Solo? What are we going to put behind? Oh, man, we can get some awesome stuff hanging over here, like some tapestries or something. I'm excited for what we're going to fill this place up with. We definitely need something on this back wall to cover up that nonsense coming through. Clan banners? Oh, yeah, we need to go set up the clan again. The, the good old CNN. The Kona News Network. We need to get the Kona News Network up and online again. Yeah, yeah. Brought to you live. Raid brought to you live by Kona News Network. Right? All right we need to get some water in us. Let's go grab some water real quick. Drink water or die? Yeah, it's exactly right. We need to get some water. Actually... Hold on a second. What does it take for a well now? Wells? I thought someone said they changed the cost. Construction hammer only costs us three to grab this. How much is a well? How much is a well? Are they still super expensive? Are they decorations? Oh, are they decorations? Wells. Yeah, they're only 50 tar. They used to be eight or 400 tar. It was ridiculous. 
Used to be kind of expensive, not sure now. They used to be absurdly expensive, and so I never used them ever. I never used them. I need a 50. Uh, instead, what I would do is I would follow the the religion of Mitra, and I would get the Mitra Fountain, which was what, what we're probably going to go and upgrade to later. We'll go ahead and use the the, the power of Mitra to, to get that going. But for now, we'll just put a well right here in the corner. I'm curious, can we move these? No, we can't. That's fine. Let's chuck this here for now. <laughs> we'll have to sit there for a minute. We'll see if we can get some water out of it. But yeah, so we, we'll want to get fountains. We'll get some fountains in here. We'll have to go and follow the, uh, the path of Mitra, though. I think we have to murder and harvest 50 individuals. Is that right? We need 50 manifestations of zeal to properly upgrade to tier 2. Is that right? Exactly right, left hand Luke. You lied. All right, so we got wells, instruments. Oh yeah, treasure coffer. Oh my goodness, does it literally fill? It fills the whole building if we put him here. I'm thinking we'll put him here. What was it six? So one, two, three. So it'll be right here. We can put him there, or we can put him behind us, right here. It's like seven foundations. I mean, if we put them in the center, it's like everything. It's nuts. If we move them to the side a bit, we can't quite get everything. But if we put them there, we can get coverage all the way to like here. Kind of nuts. We can move them at will, right? No, we can't. With the manually dismantling. Interesting. So we put him here. We can only get to the center. We can't even get the full center there. Hmm. Put him behind the throne for now. Put him there for now. That way we can we can put all of our jewels that are like near us. He's like an advisor with his taking notes. Yeah? <laughs> He's like an advisor taking notes for us. That's good. I'll take it. Good enough. Any water in here? Is it actually filling? It is. Nice. Got water where we need it. This is good. This base is really slowly coming together. Again, this section over here is going to be kind of adorned similar. Similarly, we're going to get a wall up here and everything. Uh, we get a wall coming down uh, this slot here, giving us three inside, just like the other side. We just need to move this, though. Does that mean you're new to the game? Uh, you've got a level 22. So what best thrall for beginners? Tell me. Yeah, no problem. All right, welcome for first things first. And first, welcome. How are you doing today? You're an advisor or a spy. You never know. You never know. These learned types. Always sketchy. So the best so my best advice for you for, at least for me, is to track down a uh, a entertainer thrall as fast as possible. Entertainer thralls at low level, I think, are top tier. The reason being is that while they don't hit as hard, while they don't have as much as health health, while they can't carry a whole bunch, like the bearer thralls can. They instead dance, and when they dance, you get a health buff. It increases your healing, so you get passive health regeneration by having them dance near you, and it removes corruption, and they can still fight. So they, they end up being a real jack-of-all-trades. They're not really amazing in anything in particular, but they end up being decent. And if you give them the uh, savory flesh cooked steak, the grilled steak, uh, that'll increase their vitality gain over time. So they'll gain more vitality as you level them up. I think is really good. Alright, they're turning out, I think, maybe more than we need of the hardened brick now.
sure I'm caught up on that. Hey, four thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. If you have any other questions about this game, please chuck it at me. Also, I don't know if you've gotten the, the Twitch drop yet, but this is the Twitch drop sword right here, and it is awesome. This thing is sick. I like this weapon a lot. It's really cool. <laughs> hey, Mosey, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. How are you doing today? All right. What do we want to do next? What's our next objective here? So we've kind of gotten enough done build base, like base built in here that we can kind of move on to the next thing if we want to. Or we can continue and start putting in, you know, artisan stuff and making this place look prettier. All right, we can start making this place look prettier or we can go on an adventure. Let's get beds at least sorted. Unlock beds. Beds. And bed. And what do we need for double bed? Double bed is hide, shape wood, twine. Shape wood, twine, and hide. I think all my hide's being converted right now. Twine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all my hide is converted right now. I don't think we have any hide left. Do we have any hide left in here? No. Got a bunch of tar. Let's go ahead and we'll take this tar. We'll take the brick and we'll start making some not the brick brimstone brimstone our spare brimstone okay let's go ahead and let's at least get steel fire rolling but i want to start working on our bedroom at the very least we need to get a bed set up because right now we only have a bed roll right now we only have a bed roll which is not smart 666 all right. Let's grab our cook thrall as well. Is our cooking thrall? Did I not take my cooking thrall with us? Oh, I left him in the other base. Dang. Okay. What do we need to get? We need to go and pick up. We need hide. We need to go to the corner store. We need to pick up hide. We need to pick up our other thrall. Drop off this twine over here. Hide or thrall and what? I don't know if there's anything else we need right now. We do need to do more thralling now. We can start moving all of our thralls over here too. We can get our dancer and fighter thrall over here now. Oh, we should go and get the oil going. Let's go and drop off more uh, more bugs at the the fishing fishing hut. Let's get that sorted. That'll be a good one for us. Okay. Yeah, we can bring our dancers. So this is this is our tier one entertainer, and dancers are really good because they give you the as you see on the left hand side there entertained. Which, if we go over to stats, you'll see that Entertained increases health regen by 20%, which is really nice. And they just give you this all the time when you're around them. It's awesome. It's really good. All right, we need hide. I don't think I have any hide lying around, do I? I think I've already grabbed it all. This is an empty box. We're going to pick up empty boxes going forward here. Uh, take all this. No, take, take all this. And drop all this. I'll take the box for the stuff. Start consolidating things. Take all this. Get a box. Take all this. Take a box. <laughs> it's empty box. Get a box. Get a box. Let's start moving stuff. All right, here we go. Uh, ah, there's our thrall. Ah, they're busy. Give me all this. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah, there. Stop that. We'll leave this here for now. We'll bring them as we need them. We'll leave the rest here. Uh, up here we can just put on the roof if we want. <laughs> well, let's go and move our sorcery stuff today. Because this thaumaturgy bench is just being a real pain sitting right in the center of our walkway. It's making me grumpy. Let's get it out of there. 
bunch of oils. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab all that oil actually. This is is. The box is empty. These are fine. Uh, we're gonna take half of this. Take all that. Leave this. Leave that as is. You. There we go. Now that the base is closed up, time for uh, lighting pass. Oh yeah, we should go and start lighting stuff up. Yeah, yeah, we should start lighting things up. Leave this here. Um, we're not going to do anything with those. We should at least take them. This box two. Ugh. We're not touching that. It's a bunch of bunch of hind. I don't need it. It's a, it's a waste. Let's go ahead and let's move our bedroll here. Over here. Looks nicer. This is only black ice except for the resorb, herbs, so we'll take the resorb out and we can dump it in here. Hey, where did the resorb just go? Whoa, now I'm am I blind? Wait. I picked up the grease orb, right? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Good, I'm blind. Thank goodness. Got worried. I was like, oh my goodness, is the game losing stuff? I'd rather be blind. Jeez. <laughs> Let's bring up the pork with us. Let's bring all of our uh, raw foods, I guess. Bring up this as well. Leave the rest of this for now. Um, just take this entire preservation box with me. Bears and all. And all this meat, and the putrid meat as well. Leave the rest for the moment. We'll take those candles, though. Take the, oh, hang on, take these candles, because we might break them down, I don't know. Get some resin out of them. Pale. Post. Salt pork. Taking all these. You can leave a hundred in here, it's fine. <laughs> Taking all of this. Let me leave the Reaper poison down here. I'll leave some. Now we'll leave, we'll leave some there. It's fine. Ranger's already cleared. Uh, we'll take the blood. We'll take the bone meal. We'll take the spices. Refried water. Glass flask. Nothing else. Um, we can't. We'll leave this. Well, no. Let's just take all this with us. We'll take most of this with us. We'll take the full. Take the exotic meats. We'll take most of the pork. We'll take most of the flesh. We'll take one more thing of ice. We'll leave that. We'll get this pressing in a moment here. We'll leave all these for now. We'll come back for tools later. Come back for tools later. Assembly table and everything else. We'll take this fur. We'll leave these. I don't think there's anything of note. I'll take the ice one. I don't think there's anything of real note in here. We'll take the gas orbs. I keep instantly... I was like, there's nothing we need here. Actually, we'll take this. Nothing in here. Well, we'll take this. Lupin seeds, we don't need those. Lupin seeds, we do not need. We have plenty of yellow lotus bloom already. We don't need any more. Uh, we, can, we can leave these. We don't need this much aloe extract. We'll take one thing of it. Take the mead, though. Girl flesh. Sure, we'll take that. We'll break it down. Leave the rest for now. It's a lot of wine and mead. I don't remember where we got it, but we got it from somewhere. Alright, perfect. Done. Let's go ahead and I think we're gonna take our dancer with us. Come with me. Bring her to a brand new base. 
brand new house. I'm gonna empty this out. And we'll leave some fiber in here and some bone meal in here. Like that. This and those. And that and this. Good enough. All right, let's go ahead and move the rest of the stuff over here, get it organized and put to work. Again, I'll end up moving all this stuff out later when we're offline, just so that we don't, you know, we get raided, we won't lose anything important. But let's move this over here and let's get this started. We now have our tier one entertainer with us, which is amazing. She is. <laughs> there she is. We'll get her properly set up. We'll go and make her the rest of the... I think this is Morian Dancer gear. Get the rest of that for her. And we'll go and get her a place to stand. And then, yeah, let's start working with putting lighting around the base. Make it look nice and bright so at night we're not running around in the darkness, fumbling on walls, stumbling on, uh, on corners. Oh, jeez, hello. It's, it's, uh, it's fast. You got up here quick. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am, please. Could you, could you like, not... Okay. <laughs> Could you stand over there, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I swear, companions in any game, it doesn't matter what game it is, are always a pain, huh? <laughs> always stand between you and the door. Always. There she is. Alright, you? I'm gonna have you stand guard. You want dancers behind us? I think we want dancers behind us. Dance. Behavior. Emotes. Choose emotes. Dance. We have to go pick up more dances so we can actually control what dances she does. We need to go track some down. That's good. This is why you build all halls, stairs, and doorways too wide. Thralls and choke points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Having two is pretty good. Oh, this is going to be so good once we get the lighting in here. You seek an audience with me. We have a dancer here, a dancer here. We have got a... Maybe we put... um, we put a golem here and a golem here. So we'll probably put a thrall and a thrall. And maybe do a golem and a golem down here. Be pretty cool. They come down here to have an audience with us. Please, sir. I beg of you. The taxes, they're too high. <laughs> oh, some Black Panther pants? I like the way you think. We do have bears, though. We got bears and tigers currently. We have bears and tigers currently. Alright, so we're gonna have to figure out... So, kitchen. We're gonna do kitchen stuff all on this side. This side's gonna be all the... The cooking and whatnot. We're not... All that's all crafting. All this over here is not. So... Knowledges. We need... Okay. Stove requires bonfire... On fire for stove. Chef, chef, master chef. There we go. I can go ahead and crafting, cooking, master chef. Okay, so I need some star metal. I need some reinforced. I need some bricks. And some shape wood. All right, how do we want to do this? Let's get some walls set up here first. Start. Let's start playing around with walls. So the other one we have it be a, a one step in, right? Yeah, we have one step in. Just looks this way. Goes up twice. And then we go over. And then we do this. So that way there's a two wide space. I don't know if I'm gonna like how this looks. We'll have to see.
CP like this. That's gonna feel really confined. I mean, we still get this nice big audience chamber, big open area. But I think I don't want to have this confined like that. This might be just an open space, and we use these to section out rooms. At the very least, I do think it would be beneficial to have this much done. I think this much at least would be a beneficial setup. Actually, don't do the top. The top's gonna be an upper floor. The ceiling up there. So we can make this a little kitchen right here. And then we can make this a dining room right here. Oh, there we go. You can find the kitchen, but then leave the dining space open. That would be nice. Crafting stations, cooking. Master Chef. It's here. But... The window in. Not bad. Hmm. You just have to ask yourself one question then. Are you a bear guy or a cat guy? That's a good question. <laughs> Why not both? Also a good question. Balance. And this is the Royal Guard Pets. True. Not just run-of-the-mill pet helpers. These are the ones that flank the throne. Important decisions that affect how subjects respond to you. Uh, you've got a really good point. We're going we're gonna to have to think on what, if we're going to be putting bears or, uh, or cats there. We're going to have to think on it. In the meantime, though, uh, let's go ahead and let's get... We're running low on knowledge points here. Box. Preservation box requires drying. Uh, do we need boxes, storage, improved preservation. Oh, we need black ice. Darn it, we don't have enough. We only have two on hand. Bam, black ice. Okay. Uh, so we want a drying rack. General drying rack. We want a drying rack here. Uh, we also want to need brewing. I was going to need a fluid press, too. And we're going to need that. Okay, so we got this. And then we've got uh, cooking. Insulated wood. Grab that. Or even hold out for wolves. A pair of white wolves. Ooh, you know what we could? We could do white wolves. Because we do have, we do have some skins we could use. We could use, like, abyssal hounds. We don't have anything for bears. We can do some like cool wolves. That's a hyena actually for those. That's a wolf. We need a wolf. Lions. Oh no, we've got it. We can get some deformed bears. I don't know if we want to go with that. We got Radigo as a standard bear. Get some foxes. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get that here. Perfect. Uh, we need a campfire. I don't have. Do we not have wood lying around? I feel like we don't have wood lying around, do we? Or lions? We have to go track some down. Is a thing. Ah, I do have some wood left. I haven't used it all. Excellent. Campfire. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move this. Oh, nice. So you actually get everything back. Excellent. I was worried. I don't know why I was worried. I shouldn't be, but I was still worried. So we can get the cook fire in here. Put the cook fire by, like, the front by the door. Move this in a bit. There we go. So that'll make it. There we go. 
put the door to the kitchen here. Perfect. So we've got the cook fire, we've got the stove, we've got the dryer, we've got the fermenter. What else do we need? We need a fluid press in here so we can make juices and the like. So we can go ahead and we can actually slide that in here. It fits perfectly. We also need our preservation boxes. That could fit there, but we can actually get one right by the door. That fits really nice there. Alright. Um, what else do we need? Savannah is northwest, up in the corner. Lion cubs. Yeah, the thing is we just have to go train them. We just don't have them on hand, but we, we can go grab them. It shouldn't be too hard to, but uh, we just don't have them prepped. We can still get this well in here, it looks like. We'll change it over to a um, to a fountain once we get far enough through the uh, through Mitra. We'll change it to a fountain, but for now we'll leave it as a well. Is there anything else that we're missing for a kitchen? What else does the kitchen need? Are there any other things I missed? I mean, we can make a planter in here if we wanted to. I don't know what we would plant for the kitchen. Maybe just. Plant, just a random plant matter so we can grind up. Maybe we get a grinder in here. Uh, we don't have the grinder memorized and we need brick, which we don't have on hand. Grab brick. For the grinder. You normally do a few preservation boxes. Yeah, I think we're going to do more of them. I just want to see what kind of space we have left here. I don't have any free floating brick. Let's go grab some. I am loving how this space is coming together. It is looking amazing. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Interact. Thank you. I'm like, don't destroy it. I need that. Like that. Okay. Back to the kitchen. Let's go ahead and get our grinder, which we haven't unlocked yet. The grinder. Back to, whoop, nope, back to crafting stations, general, grinding station. We can just put it on the floor right here, or we can kind of tuck it somewhere. Just tuck it right here. Grinder done. And then I think that's I think that's it, right? Or we can get an apiary, uh, apiary in here. Right. An apiary in here. Which again goes into farming. An improved apiary. That bad boy there, so we can go ahead and get all of the honey that we need for uh, for fermenting things, and then see if we can get two preservation boxes slid in here. Yes, we can. Oh, <laughs> this one needs to go back a little bit. Better. Perfect. We got three preservation boxes. We've got a campfire. We've got a well. Right? Wow, that actually uses stamina. Weird. Our stamina went down for a second. We got a beehive. We've got a fermentation barrel. We've got a fluid press. We've got. I think this is everything we need. Right? Is there anything else we would need in the kitchen here? Hmm. So this is going to be our main food stuff. So we'll put one thing of ice in here. This one we're going to go ahead and... This is going to be a leftover box on the far left here. So this is going to be all of our remaining ice. This one. Which goes into you. Is there any other free float nice? There it is. I knew it. I had a feeling there'd be some more free float nice somewhere. Put that off. Let's go up to the compost heap real quick. We could put the compost down here, too. I kind of like having the compost up here, though. 
This will be a little farming zone. So the front is going to be standard compost. The back is going to be advanced compost. That's how we're going to get this split up here. Pull this off. That compost rolling. They float nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's an iceberg. We've got this iceberg in our pocket. Okay. So now we have these two. They're set up. This is overflow, so we'll go ahead and we'll chuck the bears, the uh, the full of the tigers in here. We'll have them sit the space. For the dryer, we'll go ahead and drop off a full stack in here for when we need to dry berries and the like. For this one, this is regular food. We want regular food. Actually, no, we're going to have raw food here. Raw food's going to be by the... in the bag. And then we'll have prepared food by the front. That makes sense to me. Right? That makes sense. We'll have our prepared food. So we have <laughs> dried meat. Garbage. We'll, we'll hold on to it. I have no other food. Yikes! That's the only food I've got lying around right now? Holy. That's right, we left the spice food down there. Oof. Okay. Uh, and the raw food. Can I make another preservation box? I can. I'm gonna make one more preservation box here. Is that an iceberg in your pocket? Or, yes. Yeah, why, why are your pockets melting? Your pockets leaking. What's going on? Alright, so in here we're gonna need another thing of ice. But this is gonna be our bug box. We're gonna put all of our bugs in this box. All of our bugs go in this box right here. more ice. Another stack of ice. Human flesh is prepared food for when you have sorcerer, sorcerer zombies. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> not wrong about that. Alright. So we'll put all of our bugs in here going forward. Because this way we can pull the grubs out from here as they are created and chuck them in here, and then use this whenever we go down to do fishing. So that'll save us there. Uh, compost, and drop the compost in here. I'm gonna take, uh, what, a hundred compost out? Actually, no, wait, hold on a second. That's it. Take this 500 we already had. I don't know why I put it in to take it out. I'm gonna put this 500 compost plus this blood, plus this ash in here, and we'll start making potent compost in the back. So regular compost in the front, potent compost in the back. Potent compost. Normal compost. Normal compost, potent compost. Bam, bam. And whenever we get these fat grubs, we can take the fat grub, we can jump all the way down to it, and we can chuck them in here. How's it going, Simplistic Bubble? Longer stream than usual? Longer stream than usual. Conan XLs has a really bad habit of making me stream longer than usual. <laughs> I like this game a lot. I get really sucked into it. We're doing a bunch of base building right now. All right, so we've got Cook. We're going to need more Cooks, because right now... Oh, that's awkward. Move this box over a little bit, just so you have a little more room there, buddy. There we go. Fits in a little bit better. Nice. It's Conan. It's a time sink. Zeller is currently running on tea alone. It's true. True. By the power of tea, we'll get there. Think you're going to play Conan more often? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to make Conan a more regular Saturday-Sunday stream. I'm hoping to make it a more uh, regular Saturday-Sunday stream game. I really like this game. There's so much I want to do in it. So much I want to do in it. It's a really good game. 
All right, fermentation barrel. Let's go ahead and let's just drop the mead and the ale. These things don't perish, so we'll leave them here. If they're perishables, we'll stick them somewhere else. The water, we'll go ahead and put the water in here because it's a regular component needed for this. Yeah, we need to go get more cooks. We need to get cooks, we need to get alchemists. Those are things we really need to go grab. Hurting us that we don't have those. Good. Hmm. All right, so we've got this in here. We've got all of the meat in here, which is great. And we got this, and the improved ones are great because they have a lot of extra space in them. We'll go ahead and we'll put... I should put coal in here. 100 coal in. And burn that. Put 100 coal in here. I'll put 200 coal in here. We're going to be cooking with this more. We need to do clan banners? True, we do need to do clan banners and whatnot, too. Uh, end up finished Cult of the Lamb? Not yet. Not yet. Cult of the Lamb will be on Wednesday and Thursday this week. Someone's checking our base. Shh. Someone's inspecting our base. I'm carrying a lot on me right now. I shouldn't be doing this. I think we caught someone. Either that or it's an audio gl glitch. I think it's an audio glitch. I don't want to open this door though. I think it's just an audio glitch. I don't think there's a person in there. But, just to be sure, let's drop all of our stuff off. Is there anything in here that's going to perish? That'll perish, but that's fine if it does. Okay. Drop everything off. All right. Let's take a look. There's a people. Yeah, we need to get a people. That'd be nice. Nope. It's just it's just a glitch. Turn that off. But yeah, that's why we have the arcane door here, so we can see if someone's inside. I don't think you can shoot through it. But it does let us see inside without uh, without letting them in, you know? You're like, hello. What are you doing here, sir? This would be my abode. Why are you running around in it? Human meats. We've got enough blood on hand, so let's go ahead and let's remove this. Let's get rid of this human meat. Go ahead and we'll compost this human meat. The fat grubs. Give me the fat grubs. Uh, dump them off in the grub box. We're just going to call this a grub, uh, bug box. Bug. Bug preservation box. You also keep Conan for Mon uh, you could also keep Conan for Monday and Tuesday for a little bit longer, maybe if Dark Dungeon Two wins the vote, and it looks like it's done. The uh, one seems like a replacement for Cult of the Lamb rather than Fallout to you, at least. But you're not wrong. It's not a bad way to look at that critter, especially since Darkest Dungeon is. You know, at the same level of, like, occultiness and whatnot. True. Don't tempt me, Critter. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I'll start... I'll play more Conan. Don't you tempt me. I love this game. I'll happily play more of it. That is a very tempting proposition, Critter. <laughs> it's a very tempting proposition. So we got even more going in here. It's good. It's good. Blacksmithing. Alright, so what do we need? We need clothing. We need our... Uh, armor. Let's go grab an armor. 
I'd love to see you play more of it. Ah, I see. I see what's going on here. Well, you know, Zelda, you do love this game, and I do enjoy watching you play this game. What if you played more of this game? <laughs> That's a good point. What if I do play more of this game? That's a good question. Told you we need to tempt him with a Zelda stream inspired run. Zelda's armor. I mean, there's so much more to do in this game. There's more to do. With all of us on the server, too. That would also be a really interesting playthrough. That would be a really interesting playthrough. We just take over a server. <laughs> instead of instead of being coy about what server we're playing on, I actively tell everyone what server we're playing on at the start of the stream. We pick a server that has maybe 20 pop on it out of 40 when we first start. That way we have plenty of space to get most of you guys on here. And then... Um, did we just take over the server? Tempt, tempt, tempt. Don't you dare left hand, Luke. Please keep doing it. That sounds amazing. That sounds like a lot of fun. We're not going to do it this run, but I still want to do an Iron Man run, and that might be a fun one to do. Do an Iron Man playthrough with everyone that's watching the stream being able to jump onto the same server. Because that could be really entertaining. Maybe, like, what ends up happening is I give myself, like, a one hour head start. So as everyone's slowly filing into the stream, I'm getting myself a little bit of a head start compared to everyone else. And then I go ahead and release what server we're on, and then everyone jumps in and joins. And then, you know, either you help or hinder me, or, you know, just hang out the same on the same server. That, might, that, could, be, that could be pretty cool. That could be a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, first of all, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. Oh, these are some great ideas. These are some really good ideas. Temp, temp, temp. How, how dare you? All right, what do we need? We needed our armor three. We, we can, we're going to leave our better armor. Well, should we bring our better ones up here? Maybe. Oh, we can go grab our, car, our new carpenter, too. We can also go grab the new carpenter. We'll grab our tier three blacksmith and armor. We'll leave the other ones down here. Now. Goes and grabs a box of popcorn. Exactly right. I mean, you could also just be like, you know, first person perspective, seeing what's going on. It's revenge for all the games you made you get. <laughs> well, these games are amazing, Left Hand Luke. Come on now. Games are amazing. That's why I have you. Uh, that's why I'm. That's why I tempt everyone when we play these games. Actually, hold on. Leave this down here. Let's grab a handful of these and let's go grab our carpenter. Our carpenter's definitely done by now. If not, we'll just go grab our uh, raw uh, taker, our taskmaster. We'll be good. It's not a complaint. It's just proper revenge. I gotcha. I'm not complaining, but it'll be revenge nonetheless. Prepare yourself, streamer. <laughs> uh, is it a reward for all those games? Maybe. maybe I don't know. <laughs> it just sounds. That <laughs> just sounds like pure chaos. Oh my goodness! No wonder Chaos uh, Chaos Zero would uh, would really enjoy watching it, huh? Chaos Zero is over here, like oh, I'm gonna grab some popcorn. Of course you would. It's in your name. Let's go ahead and grab this person. Let's go and drop off some more bricks so we can make more bricks. So we can make more hardened brick. Which I mean, I don't know how much more hardened brick we really need. I mean, we need a lot. We What I need to do going forward... Oh, I'll be taking that. What we need to do going forward here is we need to start building the outer defenses now that the inner is kind of set in how we want to build it. It's not, like, truly built all the way, but it's more or less set. So what we'll need to do is the outer defenses. So we'll need to get the foundations going all the way down to the ground and getting our anti-climb as well. I don't know if we go all the way to the ground or not. Might not need to. All right, good. Make sure that it actually stops making the noise. Just so I'm not paranoid being like, oh, someone's checking out our elevator. Yeah, we need, definitely need to go track down more cooks. <laughs> we, we, we've got a cooking problem. We gotta get some cooks over here. Right. Blacksmith. Put you there. Armorsmith. Get you in here. Some more in gear. So, we need a lot more silk. We just don't have enough silk. There we 
go. Get started on that. And the carpenter. Put the carpenter in here. This is the bow maker. This bow maker, we can now make, uh, change things out. It's not super important. We'll keep them off just so they don't make the noise. Don't want to make any noise. Yeah, we got to get her proper gear. She's just missing the torso. She just needs the torso. So I think we might actually have enough for that. Let's grab our silk. I think we have enough. Silk. Bam. Oh, we need hide, don't we? Dang it. Alright, we're gonna have to go grab some hide real quick. I need to stop converting all of my stuff. It's the Dirketo version and the Zamorian Dancer version, but we want the top blouse. We need light, light padding. The light padding requires hide and climb. So get some hide. Before we get some hide, we actually have a blacksmith. We should probably get a better blacksmith here. We should get the better blacksmith, then we can go ahead and make the better skinning knife. We can get a star metal skinning knife, that'd be good. Let's go grab all of our brawls, just bring them all. I can't be bothered, we're going faster. Hello there. Why, hello there. How's it going, Astro Galaxy? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. We're currently running around, having some fun, building a great old, great old base. We're going to make it look better later. It looks okay right now, but it's still kind of blocky. I want to give it a little more texture. We're mostly focusing on seeing on the inside of the house right now. We're gonna make it, make sure it actually functions, right? I think we're gonna leave you here because we definitely need someone to defend the house. That's for sure. Uh, we can move you away from the corner though. We can leave you here now. Yeah, we need someone to defend the house, so she's in charge of that. Also, we're gonna need climb. Perfect. Off we go. Yeah, so I think we'll just leave that vault in here for now, just so it's a place we can dump all of our stuff into. And if we get raided, we get raided. I'll go ahead and I'll make sure to stash some of the... I'll, I'll stash all the building materials so we can rebuild after any damage that ends up occurring. So I'll stash that outside the space. I don't want it anywhere in here for them to find. We'll stash it elsewhere, as we have been. Stops making noise. No. Oh, stop making noise. Thank you. <laughs> don't make me paranoid when I'm over in the wizard tower. I don't need that. Let's go ahead and dump them in here. In there. Then we need a blacksmith. Whoop. Black. Smith one. Oh, because they don't have blacksmith in their name. Remember what her name is. The Reliable. Okay. Get you in here. Oop, come on out. This guy's hanging out on the horn. <laughs> Just leaning into the horn of the of the uh, anvil there. It's fine. All right, so we need insulated wood. We need leather. Did we bring any leather? Oh, we have leather. We need insulated wood. We need leather. We have that. We need star metal. Perfect. Excellent. Star metal. Leather. Quite a lot. Wait, do we need a weapon handle for this? We have to unlock it. Knife. Weaver. Do we need a... No, just shape wood. Easy. Alright, we'll leave that there. We just need to grab some shape wood, which I don't think we have in here. Just realized you're not ready for the purge. You need more guards? Oh yeah, definitely gonna need guards. 
Is the Purge going to be attacking you in a moment here? Liam, are you going you can, you can to attack? Drop this bad boy. The tanker bench isn't in here. I knew I was missing something. We need a tanker bench in here. I actually don't know where to fit it. It's a little too tight putting it here. Ooh, this fits everything but a tinker bench. <laughs> hmm. You're 80% of the way there? Nice, okay. Soon then. Let's sort out that tinker bench. Um, let's just put it out here for now. Need some wood and some iron. I don't know how much wood we have floating in this box. Ah, we still have plenty. Definitely have iron. Okay. Let's put this here for now. Can always move it later. Alright, we need some hardened steel. Ten. Hardened steel. And that. And then we can get a superior style skinning knife. There we go. And with that, we can dismantle this guy. You remember being a god at fitting all the crafting stuff into a small space in Ark? I mean, it takes. Uh, it's a skill. Actually, it takes effort. It's not easy to do. Right, perfect. As soon as we have this, we'll be good to go. Alright. Now we can go get some serious hides. All the way down. Pull that. We'll grab some picks. And not many people left online right now. Oh, it looks like underdogs changed their name from Mouse. No longer Mouse, they're Bars. <laughs> Alright, Bars. Beggar's still running around. Okay. Bonk. Nice. Chunk of hide. Bonk. And legendary weapons hurt. Let's get a bunch of hide here. Oh. Oh. Grab me that. Some extra tusks. I think we'll just end up grinding the tusks up, honestly. Ahead and we'll take out the woolly mammoth. Stamina, awkward. Oh. I thought we were gonna. I thought I could have DPS him. I'm whipping him hard. Let's get something with a bigger. Your slash radius. Quickly. <laughs> Pulled apart from within, within it. Wait, that's right, we get elephant skin from these guys. Elephant hide, that's good. Use that. Let's get some coal. We're a little on the low end of coal. Picking up a bunch of coal. Stone while we're at it, I guess. Alright. The big objective now is to go ahead and get a bunch of steel fire rolling. 
Ah, that's the guy who's talking in chat right now is the one who was scoping out our base before. He was the guy that felt like he was zooming around. Our base doesn't look too bad from here. We'll put a tower right here, I think. See if we can turn that into a circular tower as opposed to a square right here. And maybe see if we can do that on these corners as well. Little outcroppings, ones that pop out just ever so slightly. It'd be interesting to set it up that way. And we'd probably do it in a way where we still keep the fence foundation, or the fences there. Oh, hello, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Can't catch me now. Didn't mean to aggro those guys. Closed. Yeah, what we could end up doing is we can like uh, push this out and try and make a, a tower here. Push this out and try and make a little tower here as well. And kind of go around and make these tiny little towers. That needs to be really cool. I'll make make it look a little nicer. Yeah. All right, got a bunch of meat. Got a bunch of coal. A bunch of this. A bunch of that. Oh, jeez. Everything's slowly spawning in. Yeah, all the brick's done. Would you look at that? All that brick is done. This is only six hours worth of coal, by the way. It is that ridiculous. Keep all this. Here's some extra stone. Maybe those bricks. We'll at least finish off this uh, stone console that we got here. Let's get that finished off. The fur, we'll go ahead and give you the fur, uh, as well as a little bit of extra hide. That's fine, but we're going to keep the rest in the armor's bench. Don't know if you need them. The tusks we can go ahead and get rid of, and the meat we can go ahead and get rid of. The tusks we can grind, and the meat can go in here. Perfect. Excellent. All right, what's next? Oh, Forever's Clan base? I wonder where it is. Well, if Go knows, we'll go ahead and mark it on the map. If Go tells us, we'll, we'll, I'll gladly go just mark it on the map. He says it out loud and global here. Got all this regular iron stone. We're just gonna nab all this. Get this queued up for production as well. A bunch of iron. Uh, you are just about done with all the brick. So I'm actually gonna take all your brick. I'm just gonna convert you into iron. And we'll give her all of the stone to turn into brick. And then the brick into the hardened brick. Let her do it. Alright. Um, perfect. He's trying to get more information before he tells anything. Bridge meter's getting there. But we're still good. We're still good. Yeah, once we start putting all the doodads down here, that purge meter's going to shoot up. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and... Did I put the twine in here? I did not. Where'd I put my twine? I probably just put it all back in the chest, huh? Yeah, let's put it all back in here. We'll take a full stack. 1,000 twine. 1,000 twine. There we go. Make me the blouse. It's more in a headdress. Oh, we don't have enough silk for the headdress. I have to get more silk. Uh, silk. Where do we grab silk that's close to here? I guess we go to the cave. I guess we end up going to the cave where we can get crystal at. That'd be the closest place for us. Do that. Uh, 
Uh, what else can we use? We can do a sickle and a lever. Rubs from the compost bin also make silk too. Oh, you're right, they do. <gasps> you're right, they do. Yes. That's right, when you just need a tier three tanner, right? Is it a tier three tanner? A tier three tanner is what we need. There we go. Nice. Look in the part, we just need to get the, the earrings, which is good to go. Tier three or four, but three will work. We don't have any tanners. We have black. We have uh, armor smith that we've been using so far. We only have uh, armor smiths right now that we're using for our our tanneries and whatnot, and the uh, the improved tanner stable. We do not have a tanner. We have to go track one down, but that's cool. That's a good point. We'll have to keep that in mind because we're still going to be building up grubs here. building up a bunch of grubs. Alright, let's get some more improved planters and let's see if we can get some of the lotus going. I think it's just these? The planters, is that right? I need instant wood too. Insulated. Full stack. You plan on sleeping? Yeah, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I need to go to bed. You're right, Straw. I do. This game's too much fun, though. I struggle, Straw. I struggle. It's addictive. Go. That gives us five. Five different lotus. The struggle's real? It's true. <laughs> Told you he's running into the magic of Conan and T. Yeah, that's through the sheer power of T. You will survive. Alright, so we want to actually we can keep this in here. Star metal, it's fine. What do we need? What do we want? Take all of our brimstone. Call that. Do we have any tar that's hiding in here? Not really. Okay, and then still some consolidate. Okay. Um, resin. We have any fiber? Some. All right, let's get this moving. Alright, so the salt that we'll put in here. So we can get all that done. Just gonna put the alchemy table. You're intending on playing Archipelago for 20 minutes, and it's been two hours. You should really not. <laughs> oh my goodness, the distractions. Go. We definitely need to go and pick up more. It leaves us here for when we want to make more consolidate. But yeah, we definitely need to go and get more hide. That is something we definitely need to get more of. Got bear hide. Pelt. Got wolf pelt. We can go do wolf pelt. Hide. We've got elephant hide and thick hide. It's not what I'm willing to, to use. I want to get as much steel fire as we can. It takes 50 per explosive, which means each stack is 10 explosives. So that means we've got um, 40 explosives we can build for tomorrow. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Leave some of the stone and wood in here just in case we need it for something else. We can go ahead and take these gilded war horns. Let's build the war horns in here. Nice. Yeah, now we're going. Now we're getting somewhere. 
<laughs> Got a barge coming through. Get out of the way. It's a barge. Outside. Got a whole bunch of branches still. Actually, we can take all these branches back now. These branches are great. We actually like branches. Branches are good because we now have that tier 4 carpenter. Tier 4 carpenter can actually take care of all of these branches. Which we can take 10 branches and turn them into one wood each. So that's actually 800 wood right there. He obviously not make, don't make too much noise. Hmm. We'd have meat in here still. Definitely take all the meat out. Take all the salt and the spices. Actually need more of these. I can't use those yet. I need to get sorcerer going. But let's take stone stone and wood. I'm gonna try and get sorcery going. I don't remember if it requires crystal to take some just in case. Uh branches. Get rid of those. Wolf pelt, we'll get rid of that. Er. We're going to stash that. Okay. Extra meats. So we'll go ahead and we'll stash our salt or our salted pork. And then our spices. All right. We'll make more wood out of these branches, which is really nice because we really just have no use for branches. We still haven't done any lighting in here yet, though, so you are going to have to go and work on lighting. Now, what do we need to do with Thaumaturgy Bench? Ah, more stone and more iron. We can still pilfer some stone out of here. No, we can't. It's gone. The stone is gone. She's too fast. All right, we can go ahead and we'll do sorcery later. We'll do sorcery later. That's fine. Cut that off. Um, yeah, I'm going to need this and some twine. I need to actually put a dryer up here. I need a dryer up here. This dryer is for seeds, so we can go dry out seeds. But we can go ahead and we can make more of these guys. We should probably just get a chest up here too for, for all those as well. We'll put that in later. I'm not going to go and work on the seeds quite yet. We can do that tomorrow. I want to finish focusing on getting the small things done so we can be prepped. Work the wolf belt. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's a pretty good setup. Look at this. <laughs> we've got, got a dancer. We've got our, our our treasury guy set up with two unique, cool treasures that have been placed. We've got this really awesome little uh, setup down here. We're going to go and set up a dining table there. We'll remove this vault. We don't want this vault here. Got pants for entertainment? Yes, exactly right. Can we actually do stuff while we're standing in here? No, no, we can't. He <laughs> kicks us out. Okay. Misk. No greetings. No, do we know how to clap our hands? I don't think we know how to clap our hands. Worship. No. Celebrate. Score and cheer. Woohoo! Yeah, we don't we, we don't know how to clap our hands. It's a very advanced maneuver. Oh, slow pause. 
There we go. Okay, we got it. We got, we got slow applause. We can, we can kind of clap hands, but that's not really like the, the, hey, get to work, you know? Oh, great. I think we're going to start winding it down here. He says as he continues to still do work on the base. I think we're going to start winding it down here. And the things we're going to start looking at doing tomorrow... So I'll go ahead and I'll stash all the loot. I'll pull all the important stuff out of here and I'll go stash it as, as we have been doing. Let's see if we can place this gilded urn while we're here. Um, yeah, we can. It's gilded urn right next to me. Nice. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll stash all of our loot as we usually do, so it's not easily raidable. So if they do, if someone does come by and decides to raid us, they won't be able to get anything of value. We'll then focus on raiding tomorrow. I want to go raiding. He's running on empty. It is running on empty. Yeah, I'm down to I'm down to one more one more gulp of tea. It's all gone. Yeah, so we need to focus on lighting up the room, but most of, there's a lot of stuff we still want to do here. But the most important thing we need to do is we need to do raiding tomorrow. So we didn't get a chance to go check out Fortnite's base. So this means we're going to be going a little blind. So it means that we'll end up starting... We'll start the stream. We'll go do some recon while our stuff is still stashed. So that if people raid us during the during the time that we're online, we won't lose any of our stuff. They'll come in and they'll be like, oh, there's a vault. Blow up the vault. They blow up the vault. There's nothing in here. Actually, I think I'm going to break this vault down, honestly. Just because I don't want them blowing up the foundations. Um, and in here we don't have any, we only have one box. This is the only box we have here and it's just to be dismantled. I might even just delete that because there's nothing else in there. We don't have any other containers in this facility. So I might just take everything out and go and restash it. The only thing they could go for are these, uh, these items here if they want them. It's fine. And hopefully they don't take her. Maybe I move her onto the roof. <laughs> Maybe I put her on a roof. I don't know. Yeah, this is way too dark. We got to get lights in here. We gotta get lights in here. This is not this this is not gonna fly. This is not gonna fly. What do we need iron for it? We have to decide what kind of lighting we want to go with. We definitely need to get lighting in here. But we don't have lighting unlocked. Lighting. Isn't it braziers? That's no, ancient braziers. Isn't there torches? Torchbearer. Okay. But yeah, so we'll go the we'll go do some scouting while it's still safe because all of our stuff is stashed, and then we'll go raid, and then we'll do building. So I think that's going to be the order we do. So even if we get raided, we don't have to worry about it. Which does mean I'm going to need to go and stash my loot in. I'll stash my loot in two groups as opposed to in one group. I'll stash it into two groups. One group for materials for us to do raiding, and one of all of our goodies. We can do that. Get these crenellations, we'll get those unlocked. We'll do that. And then that way we can just, I can, we can go and grab all of our raiding related loot. And we can go with that. That'll work. I think that'll work. That'll be good. Here we go. Uh, it looks, uh, it works with the look though. It feels like you better be better get to work or else it does. It's a little daunting looking out there. All right, so we can go ahead and we can get our hanging braziers, which I'm a fan of, but there's the ones that we can hang off of a wall? Yeah, wall braziers. These are the ones we're probably gonna be using around all of our pillars. It's wall braziers, we need iron. Luckily, we're making an absolute ton of it. In here, I think we'll put ceiling ones in. I think we'll put ceiling ones in this. We're gonna put wall braziers for the others. I said we were gonna wind down, and we haven't winded down yet. I'm just talking about our plans while we continue to do this. We're gonna need what? I think four per, so four, eight, 12, 16. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 16 of those built. Bam. Yikes, our armor is almost broken. Let's go and let's get that sorted real quick. There. There. One of the things I really like about the basic kombucha armor is it only takes thick hide. Or, yeah, just thick hide. We don't even have to make it into leather. Easy peasy.
Just like that. Bam. Oh my goodness, it's a raid. Hello and welcome, Longclaw. Hello and welcome, raiders. I was just talking about that I was going to start winding down the stream, but then I got distracted and... I don't know if we're going to do that quite yet. I don't know if we're going to do that quite yet. We're doing a little bit of building. We're doing some building today. Right, let's go ahead and move just four of these over and let's just see if we how it looks setting this up in here. Because it is way too dark in our epic base that we've built. Way too dark. Let's actually let's start off with behind us. Where do we want these braziers to be? Right here? How's this look? If someone's coming in for an audience with us, what's this look like? Oh, that is so nice. Oh, that is so nice. This looks really good. I like this. So we've got our dancer. We've got our loot that we'll be putting around our throne. We've got this gorgeous lighting on either side from up above us. This looks really good. I like this. <laughs> it's really good. I'm glad you're still alive. Well, I appreciate the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you, Longclaw. Hopefully you had an awesome stream. Hopefully you had a lot of fun. See, I'm thinking maybe we put some walls or something in here. I don't know exactly how we want to set this up. We need to put some walls or something in here at some point. I think that's good enough for the lighting. Do we want to stick with the height? I don't think we're going to stick with the height. I think we're bringing him down. So we were three up before. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Let's do seven. Right, so we got one, two, three... One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good, because it's a step down. The step down looks really nice. You vote for a male dancer? You miss the guy you used to run around with? Oh, yeah. Oh, it makes sense. We could have a female dancer on one side, a male dancer on the other. He's peasy, he can't do. Wouldn't be too hard to set up. All right, we just need to go grab the rest of our braziers here, and we can go and get this place lit up. Last one. Actually, we need two more of these, don't we? Braziers. So I put those two up behind our throne. So I'm going to need two more, because I originally was setting this up just for these pillars here. Oof, these are not level. Those are well-placed. These are not level. How do we want to do this? Make these level. Let's go ahead and move you... All the way up. Can I not reach you now? Okay, there we go. Move you back down, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hit center. And click. Lights on. So you started, uh... So you started a stream with uh, the intention to save your remote colonies. A colonist who colony took a big hit last week. You packed up everything and settled in a new spot. Opened the ancient danger. Got massacred. Oh no. Oh no, Longclaw, no. So we started a new playthrough about 40 minutes after going live. Oh my god. I, I know exactly how those plays those playthroughs go. I know exactly how that goes. You're like, oh, it'll be fine, don't worry. We've we've got everything set up as we need it. It'll be alright. And uh nope, nope, not at all. Uh, you get to... Uh, turns out you were not prepared. Unfortunately, this is not... Oh, jeez. Gross. How do I fix this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so those are fine, but this just needs to go up, I guess. Move you down. I can rub you better. It's better. Much better. They're close. They're close enough. I'll take it. Close enough. Maybe we don't need four, you know? Mm. 
don't know. The other option is we can just go on the seam. It's a little bit easier to keep the same height. Does that make this easier? Does this work out really well in our first attempt? Oh yeah, it worked out really well. It's a sl How is this so far off? Come here, you. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe we have to look at it from the side. It's just it's green. It's really tough to tell when it's green. It's really tough to tell exactly where it is with the green because it's so light. Oh, much better. Yeah, setting it to the seam seems to work pretty well. That's one set we can do. Put them all on the line of the pillar to make it easier to line up. Ah, okay, Specs, you already gave the you gave that advice. I had to figure it out on my own. Specs was like, listen, there's an easier way to do this. And I'm just like, hold on, I'm really focused. Specs was like, just read, read my message, man. Read my message, man. It'll save you a headache. Good call, Specs, good call. Go. Go. Back up. Yeah, no, this is definitely better. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be close. You know? It just has to not look crazy. It doesn't have to look wildly off, that's all. Much better. Someone comes in for an audience. Look at that. That's a view. Oh, we look. Imp we would look so imposing up there. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, what do we need? We need some hide. We need some twine, and we need some shape wood? Question mark. Yeah, I bet we do. Your shape wood in here, though. Oh, we got the twine. Shape wood. Bed. Stygian bed, please. One Stygian bed. Thank you. We can put these around the rest of the the other two pillars. Long hair. There we go. <laughs> it perfectly fits. The stack is near perfect. Right, let's grab this double bed. We'll place it down, and this way we'll have a spawn point here. We currently don't have a spawn point. Uh, we only have the bedroll that we've got. So we need to get this spawn point set up. Okay. We'll spice it up the way the bedroom is set up later, but for now... Put this here. Because again, we'll get, the, we'll get the fireplace over there. Uh, we'll probably get some, like, more privacy screen or something here, so we can have this bedroom upstairs. We still want it to be relatively open so we can look down, you know? Maybe we put doors. Maybe we put doors. Alright, so if we grab you, we grab you, and we grab you. Don't do that. Wrong item. It's, but it's a hammer, not the right hammer. Put a door here. Put a door here. Probably should put it on the other hand. Yeah, I should put it on the other hinge. Just so that these doors don't block each other. You know? Yeah, we can still kind of see what's going on. We can still look down from above. Uh, we don't want a slant, we just want a wall. Now, if we did go ahead and mount this this way, this actually feels fine. 
No, I doubt we can do it, but I would love it if we could. Wait. We can! No way. Seriously? That's allowed? That's gonna look nice. That's allowed? Oh, that is- that looks so much nicer. That's so much nicer. Let's, um... Maybe we don't need to be so imposing with the... with the fences. Is that how you make PvP windows? <laughs> it's really good. They look really good. Now here's the question. Can we use these bad boys instead? Looks like I have to place these first. No, the other way, please. Here. There we go. Wrong way. Does that look better, or does this look better? It looks more regal, but it doesn't look as imposing, you know? It's more regal, yes, but less imposing. I think we're gonna go back to the fences. I think the fences look better. It's how you make PvP windows. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna swap back. I'm gonna go with the fences. The fences just they looked more imposing, and I feel as though that's the that's the real vibe we're going for, right? Real vibe we're trying to hit. Nice. And we'll put some chairs there and whatnot. Yeah, okay. So our bedroom's now properly enclosed. So it's not too crazy, yeah? I place some triangle walls along with same, uh, al along in the same direction. You make holes. You can make out of, make out of that people can't climb through. Yeah, I don't think you can, you can't climb through. This is too small. I don't think. <laughs> Yeah, he can't even crouch through this. Wow, that's crazy. It's really good. Yeah, this just it just, just looks really imposing. I like that. Looks good. And especially once you get this wraparound going the other direction. Going that way, it's gonna look really nice. Maybe we do kind of the same thing for the rest of it too. Instead of it being like super open, what if we grab some more wall? Actually, wait, we gotta do it. We have to do it the right way. Oh, wrong one. Something like this. Right, so supposedly you can't climb out of this. Can't climb out of that. But you can still, you know. As you walk along, you can see what's going on in the audience chamber, right? It's a little more closed off. This is looking really nice. I like this. Yeah, that that just makes that a world better. That makes it a world better. Oh, that looks so much nicer. I still think I want to stick with the fences. The fences are just looking really, really sharp. I think we'll do the same on both sides. You know what we can do is we can get like tapestry and like uh, along the walls here if we get rid of these. Yeah. Then over here we'll have it go along as well, but we'll have this like open, probably like a banquet hall down there, so that even with the the roofing there, you can still see underneath it to the banquet hall. 
It's going to look really nice. Yeah, we're going to have to remove this vault. <laughs> this vault, I'm going to move this vault. Definitely moving it. It's got to go. Some ceilings up here. Make sure they're facing the right direction. And as per usual, we'll get ourselves an arcane door on here. Oh, wait, is this in the way? It is. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'm going to care for it to swing this way. We go. Perfect. Kitchen set. Where were all of your dump? Uh, where will you dump your stuff if you move the vault? Uh, we'll move the vault and we'll go ahead and we'll set up some dump stuff outside or like downstairs. Eventually, I'd like there to be like a, a complex downstairs as well. Which is where we might end up moving some, like, furnaces or putting extra furnaces down there or something. Some more basic material refining downstairs. Essentially convert, like, essentially pick that whole up, thing up and put it down here. <laughs> it's going to be our, our eventual goal for that. So we'll have a lower, it'll be essentially like a Mont and Bailey style castle. Where we've got a, we've got our Mont and we got a Bailey. Or actually, we have Mont's here, the Bailey's down there. It's Mont's on top of a mound. Because Mont and a mound are the same thing. There I go. We'll do something like that, I think. But yeah, we need to move. We need to remove this vault. This vault's going to cause problems. Uh, if people have it where the everything loads in with the foundations being last, this does happen with low rendering. You'll see this vault early, and we don't want them to see that in here because then they'll bust through here. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll. I'll take care of that. I'll go stash it. I'll stash the vault. And put it somewhere else. It'll be good. This is looking really good. We'll get more lighting in here soon. I don't really want to do it right now. It's a little tedious. <laughs> but we'll get we'll get more lighting in here soon. At least the places of imports, which is the throne, is properly lit. We'll get some ceiling ones in there soon too. Yeah. We're feeling good. We're feeling good about this. This is great. This is great. Loving what we've built so far. And now we have all the top tier, tier 3 facilities so that we can actually make all of our resources significantly faster. We can make all of our resources blindingly fast now. Absolutely blindingly fast. Which is huge. It's absolutely huge. This will allow us to, if we take damage or we lose stuff, we can just rebuild. Now that we've got the tier 3. Yeah, there's no need for them to use explosives in here at all. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll stash all of the, the thralls, but everything else should be done being processed by the time we show up. Next stream. Yeah. Maybe we move these. I'm feeling a little tight there. Maybe we move all the planters and the and the compost and everything. Move this whole setup. Uh, Towards the kitchen. Maybe that. Yo, know, maybe we can put in that little nook over there. That'd work. Shoving that little nook over there. Right? What if we. How much space is here? Oh, it's a door. <laughs> Never mind. Can't really put it there. Uh, we could probably put it in this corner here, but I don't really want it by the banquet. That doesn't make sense. I don't want to have the compost by there. Oh, there's the. This little nook over here we can go do. Right here, this nook right here, we can have the compost and whatnot. Be the bathroom. Build it to look like a bathroom. Put a chair on top of a compost heap <laughs> to have it be like the uh, the dump zone. That'd work. We can do that. Oh, perfect. Uh, we're not going to log it right there. We'll log it right here. Perfect. 
Well, there we go. I think that's pretty good. That was a good amount of progress that we've gotten done today. I'm very happy with what we got done. The base is enclosed. Its skeleton is fully built. We definitely need to get more doodads in here, but at least all the uh, crafting stations the light are now placed. There's probably a couple of things that I've forgotten that we need to do, but uh, it's late and I'm struggling to stay awake, so <laughs> to be expected that I'm forgetting. We'll be back tomorrow to play even more Conan Exile stuff. I'll be sure to stash this loot before the raid window time starts. I'll get that done probably in the morning when I wake up or something. Just to make sure that we don't lose all of our stuff. Just some of our stuff if we get raided. Uh, if you have yet to vote for what game we'll be playing next, now that we've finished Fallout, this is the link here to go ahead and follow along, to go ahead and vote. Uh, I have had some people in chat tempting me to not play whatever game that is immediately, but to have that take over Cult of the Lamb once Cult of the Lamb is done. I will think on it. I'll sleep on it. We'll, we'll see. But that vote is still going on for a little bit longer. But an XL is too, too tempting. That's the real problem. <laughs> That's the real problem. But go ahead and vote if you've yet to vote. It's ranked choice voting. Please make sure to do so. It's important because it lets me know which game to play as well as which games people are interested in. So it really helps. Even if you don't, even if the thing that you're most interested in doesn't win, it's still important because second place is guaranteed to be voted uh, on the vote list next time and whatever gets last place will be removed. So picking what you vote still does matter, even if whatever you choose for first place doesn't succeed. Let's see if we can find someone to raid here. Everyone we normally raid is offline because I am online very late today. <laughs> we are online very late. Um, so, like an hour and 40 over a standard stream like that, it's a lot. So let's go ahead and let's give another Hail Mary throw at another person who's streaming. I think we've, I think we've raided Avatar of Win before. I think we have. I feel, the name sounds familiar. I think we have. Let's give him another raid. If we have raided him before, let's give him another raid. If we haven't, first time raiding, let's do it. Uh, oh yeah, we've definitely raided him before. Yeah, we've raided it before. I know we have. I remember this guy. He was pretty good. He was entertaining. Let's go ahead and give him a raid. Starting up the raid. And here's our raid message to jump on in there. Give him some love. But thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. I really appreciate it. You guys make it way more fun to play this game by giving me a little backseat gaming. As well as all of the fun topics we get distracted with. <laughs> I love all the nonsense we get distracted with. We'll be back tomorrow for more Conan Exiles. So have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you're in the world. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.